Hello, adventurers, and welcome to Grognard and Friends, or as it was most recently described to me by one of you, the real housewives of Seven Rivers. Ahem. Speaking of the friends, let's check out this week's episode of Grognard and Friends. <laughs> And we're back. When last we left the friends, they were in the stone's throw when they met a young gnomish woman named Calandra who sought their help in finding someone who she sp suspected was in the eastern districts. The friends willingly took on the job and agreed to meet and discuss the details the next morning as it was getting late. It turns out that Calandra too is a cleric of the revelry, but to an entirely different goddess. And they discovered that she was staying at her church that happened to be in an odd section of town down by the docks. Gaius offered to walk Calandra home. She eagerly agreed, and they soon made their way to a section of the city known as the Alley of Red Lanterns. The next morning, when Gaius and Calandra finally returned... The friends discussed the problem of getting into the Eastern Districts, talked about it with Butterbeer and his friend and old co-worker Murph. Murph suggested they seek out a bartender named Mary in a pub in the residential part of the History District named the Green Hag, as she might have a better idea of how to access the Eastern Districts now that they were off limits. They found Mary and a strange and solitary patron at the pub, Things started out well enough, but soon turned pear shape as some of the friends couldn't seem to stay focused. And things quickly turned into a combination of Seven Rivers' version of the Jersey Shore, Real Housewives of Seven Rivers, and the Lifetime Show, Little Women. But four pitchers of drinks, one irritated bartender, and a bloody gnome nose later, they finally had a lead as to what to do. They were to head to the Jubilee Quarter and seek out someone known only as the Aqualung. So, friends, you've left the Green Hag and headed back east towards the Jubilee Quarter. Uh, are you all in a bunch? Are you in a particular order? What do you do? Jubilee Quarter uh, is directly east. It is east of where you go. You've never been there before. Interesting. <clears throat> are, are we passing by the market at all or is that further north actually you'll be going north of the market but you could go through the market because you're not really sure you know the jubilee quarter is east of where you are and a little bit north of the colonnade okay i am asking because i do not have studded leather and i make noise so i might need to take a detour fair enough mm. Mm -hmm. But other than that, um, well, what are we thinking? <laughs> uh, Calandra, uh, how are you attired for combat? Yes, that's the combination of words I want. <laughs> right. Slutted leather, or if, do you have heavy armor? What's, what's the deal? Before you answer, Calandra, I'd like you to answer my first question. You guys are walking down the street, are, are like... It sounds like Gaius, Calandra, and Nikita are kind of grouped together at the moment. Is uh, Reed and Butt Trumpet behind you, along with Eldred? What are you in like two sections of three? Would you say, or what would you say? I was expecting I was walking with Nikita. I was wondering if we were in like a two by two double file line. That works yeah, for me. Huzzah! <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, who's where then? So who's in the front? Let's say Nik let's say Nikita and I are in the front. Okay. Duh. Well, uh, I would imagine that Gaius and Calandra are right behind with Eldred and Reed in the back. Yeah, Sounds I was good. thinking that. Okay. Yep, same. And uh, no. while we're trying to figure it out now, um, I know we've said before that armor would hold me back and restrict me, even with the recent uh, leveling up. Is that still the case? Yes. Damn. Uh, <laughs> okay. Then we I'm just going to stand behind something big. big. Okay. Right, super right. tiny. Super tiny. Yeah, super tiny, tiny, tiny leathers. <laughs> Toddler leathers. Where can we find infant leathers? <laughs> Toddler leathers? That would be Happy Harry's. <laughs> mm, yeah. Which no. we are never going to ever again. <laughs> no. <laughs> nope, not now, Dad. No. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Butt trumpet, we'll say... Yeah, that works. We'll say that you kind of slip back as... Nikita, Gaius, and Kalandra are in conversation about Kalandra's ability to do what needs to be done. We'll say you slip back to talk to Reed and Eldred, asking about your armor. But Trumpet because Reed's a good leather place. <laughs> oh, he's an expert on that. <laughs> but Trumpet, give me a uh, per uh, perception check, please. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! So strong. You uh you you look at Hi. Reed <laughs> you look at Reed and for a moment you're like, who are you? Oh yeah, that's right. You're you're our happening. <laughs> <laughs> and I walk into oncoming traffic. <laughs> yeah. Basically. You know his butt trumpet almost gets run over by a uh a large man carrying a uh a cat. Like a man. Rear! Jerry? <laughs> uh, Nikita, would you give me a perception yeah. check, please? All right, negatives coming right up. Because you go back to see, <laughs> see Butt, Butt Trumpet, Trumpet okay. after they nearly got run over. If you oh, see that. Yeah. If I even see that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nope. Oh, <laughs> shit. With advantage. Uh, no. with advantage. <laughs> with advantage. With advantage. <sighs> Give me a two. <laughs> with nine. It's incremental. We're doomed. We're doomed. Who's okay. Doomed? And not do anything in the street. You know what, Reed? <laughs> with, with a nine, you're close enough, we'll say. Um... <laughs> Because they, it was it was a simple ten. It was a simple ten. So I'm going to say you're close enough. Right. So Dan, you're you're walking, and you get a little further behind because you know his butt trumpet almost gets run over. Nikita comes back to to check check on butt trumpet and everything, and you just fall back a little bit farther. And Eldred just seems his head in the clouds when you look over and um, standing looking in a window of a shop. Mm -hmm. You see, uh, from the back, it looks so, like someone familiar. How would you describe this person? <laughs> uh, tall, thin, short red hair, wearing uh, leather armor. So, like, guard-like, or like... Like, it looks like it might be Vivalda. And as, oh. uh, as they're looking inside, you, you get, like, a... a profile of their face and it definitely looks like Vivalda. I mean you won't know for sure unless you look them straight on in the face, but it pretty much looks like it might be Vivalda. How far away would this person be? 10, 10 15 feet. Oh. I run over and hug. <laughs> I hope it's them. <laughs> <laughs> I run over and give a big old hug. <laughs> okay. It's probably not them. Reed, Reed, you, 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 uh, you, Vivalda, you're, you're looking in a window and someone comes up behind you and gives you a big old hug from the back. A very short person. Oh, oh um, um, Reed. Oh my, oh my goodness. 
Um, how are you? I'm good. Every, everybody, look, look, look. Everybody over here. <laughs> it's Viv. <laughs> Hi. Gaius, Gaius, Nikita, and Butt Trumpet, you hear Reed go, everybody, everybody, look, look, look. And he's over by a shop. And he has his arms wrapped around Vivalda. <laughs> what did oh I say about goodness. touching stranger? Oh. Not a stranger. No, hi. <laughs> not a stranger. For oh. once. <laughs> I like that. I like that. It's been a bit. <laughs> yeah, it has been. It, oh, hi. Hi, Bud Trumpet. How, I like, how are you? Get about, I get about up to her knees. <laughs> <laughs> if. Yeah. <laughs> It's been so hi. long. Um, hello, hello, everyone. Hi, hello. and hello. How are oh, you? Um, I, I'm, 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 I'm good. Um, it's been a while, hasn't it? It has. Yes. Wait, you see how big Hannibal got? <laughs> she big... went down. The bunny. Who? The bunny is. is oh, gone. the bunny. She's oh, the... yes, oh, yeah, yes. The... Big. I see. Okay. And, and we should um, probably introduce our new gnome friend. Yes, yes, oh, hello. Yes. Hello, Calendra, I am yeah. Calendra. Calendra. Yeah. Well, nice Calendra. to meet you, Calendra. Lovely yeah. to meet you. Yes, I'm, I'm you Vivalda. Cal. Had to rescue Butt <laughs> Trumpet. Viv was with us. And that's when things got hairy. Reed killed a bunch of halflings with Viv. It was lots of fun. It was. Well, well, I mean, you know, I mean, <laughs> adventure is fun. Nah. Uh, Killing people can be fun too, depending. Are you are you on a mission right now, or can you join our mission? We're gonna help um, later. At the moment, I'm, I'm just, I was yeah, just what's looking your at the shops around. My availability. <laughs> um, as of right now, I'm quite free. I I've been doing my own thing for a bit, but um, what have you been up to? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if that wasn't the question. <laughs> Paul, do you have a montage ready? <laughs> right. I, I want to hear how you, how you handle this one. What are you talking about? Uh, we went and rescued a kid out in Forest Grove, defeat an evil magic uh... Which, Which I think, I... yeah, well, Nikita some kind of, some kind magic of genie user. thing. Yep. Dark magic. magic. Oh yeah. Smoke monster. Mm -hmm. Smoke monster. Yeah, smoke monster. Smoke mm -hmm. monster. Um, smoke monster to the rescue. Tree. Uh, trees, multiple trees. Um, we had horses like... walking up walls. We had spider horses uh, were a thing. We had spider yeah, horses. Spider horses. Yeah. Mm. From so behind you, Vivalda, you you uh, hear Eldred go in your ear. You missed us, didn't you? <laughs> oh, I, I didn't even I didn't even see you actually. Wow. Um, yes, yes, I, I I did miss you guys. This this is wild. Um, you'll definitely have to catch me up on ev all the adventures you've been on. It, it, it's a lot. We can do that while we walk. Um, sure. Are, are yes. you heading somewhere? Mm -hmm. I could use some leather, but I, I, I might peel off, and the rest might just head <laughs> straight to the Jubilee district. All right. Sure. We're um, gonna go meet a contact. Oh yes, uh, Calandra's brother's missing. We're helping find him because that's apparently our shtick now. Well, we're helping oh, find a guy people? named I see. Grimoire yes. Fair in the eastern districts again to find her brother smelly parts so you might oh. if you have something else to do you might not want to come hey, i mean as of right now i'm free so sure I mean, we want you to come you wanna, but it's western districts again you want to not yes you want to not <laughs> i'm being up? honest see i i respect you're selling it the wrong way <laughs> She deserves to know what all I the details you? before she accepts. Yes. <laughs> yes. Consent is key. That. Thank you. Yes. Um, I Consent wouldn't mind key. going for, for an adventure. Huzzah! Awesome. Excellent. Barely we roll along. To the Jubilee. Whatever. Were you, <laughs> were you here in... 
Were you in Seven Rivers when all this stuff happened? Uh, which stuff? Like the... Oh, uh, you know, the quarantining, the new armored guards, the people being possible kidnapped abduction. off the streets. Oh, that's not a possible. It's a definite. Mm -hmm. Oh, did and I not I mention all... Calandra and I definitely saw that happen? I've mostly people been up in the Overlook. Hmm. Ah. Look at you. Hmm. Mm. <laughs> yeah. What were you doing there? <laughs> just, 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 just a bit. You've been sharing. Honestly, it's time. it's quite stuffy up there. It's, um. Yeah. So, I, as you know, I was investigating something, and turns out it was um. I, I'm still honestly working on it. So it's something I'm taking a break from right now, and I'll come back to later probably. Mm -hmm. Recharge okay. your batteries. Uh, Gaius, give me a perception check, please. Sure. I'm really glad it was you, because otherwise I would have been hugging a stranger. So. 23. <laughs> uh, you notice a town crier walking out into the middle of an intersection before you. Ah. Let me limber up. Hold on. Get, get ready. <laughs> Here we go, Dan. Oh, oh, notebook out. Yeah, hey, hold on, guys. I gotta take notes. Uh oh, town crier. This should be good. <laughs> you see, you see this uh, young woman dressed in uh, palace co colors. Set down a stool, step on it, unroll a very long scroll, and say, "Oh yay! Oh yay! Oh yay!" The sudden shrinking population of our fair city has those remaining citizens concerned. Is it a sudden desire for warmer climes, as some officials have tried to say, or is it something far more dangerous and dastardly, as remaining citizens are increasingly beginning to wonder? Where are our missing citizens, and who is responsible for their disappearance? These are the questions we want to know. So say many that we interviewed in the Western Districts. Are they simply fleeing in droves? Has the Equus Noro sickness, known by most as the Mudlarks, gotten so bad that the vast majority of missing people are in fact dead and authorities are keeping it a great big secret? Has whatever's been abducting people in the eastern districts now moved over here to the western districts and been snatching people from right under our noses? And why hasn't this perpetrator been caught? Are these mysterious yellow wagons that are rumored to roam the streets at night suddenly to blame? And if not, are they real and what are they and who drives them? Is this all the work of a serial killer? Has the infamous, infamous halfling killer now moved on to the rest of our population? If so, when will their bloodlust be quenched? Prophets in Temple Way are saying that these are signs of the end times and that we should all either repent or be very scared. Meanwhile, scholars at the university say that ancient texts foretell a very different story. And that there is a good chance that we should, in fact, be very scared. In distantly related news, Teamster and Livery Guilds have joined forces in protest this week. The combined guilds have been picketing the lower and upper gates to the Overlook in pro protest of what they call their general and unalien-like rights to be able to earn a living. This comes in retaliation to the palace's expanded ban on all horse traffic within the city limits that went into effect earlier this month. The combined guilds are said to be a pre said to going to be a presence at the rumored festivities taking place later this week on the colonnade. And speaking of said rumors, the palace, in conjunction with the offices of justice and corrections, is pleased to announce what they are calling happier news in these troubling times. In what sa some say are er 
was the urging of Overlook officials. The fate of prisoner 1225 has been decided. 1225, known to the city as one Edward Andrews, has been scheduled for execution this coming Sunday at first light. And the palace says, All the city is invited to come and watch and cheer. In these times of sadness and sickness, what we all need is to gather together for these fun and festivities. There will be food and concessions and face painting for the kids. So come on out, one and all, to the colonnade at first light this Sunday and cheer and celebrate together as the city puts Edward Andrews to death. Because officials at the place, palace say, our city needs a little joy and fun. In other palace news, the, pa the shadow scourgers are said to have just received their largest payday yet. This time for a secret unknown assignment that is said to have come directly from the top. That's right, the Shadow Scourgers are said to be working for the Baron himself, and it seems like they couldn't be happier. Sightings of the adventurers turned celebrities have been turning up in many of the Overlook's most desirable night spots. In fact, it is said that the Shadow Scourgers' predominant bloodletter, Pustulus Urungus, has been high in high demand with more than a few over the, of the Overlook's residents. Ladies, watch, watch your hearts, they say. And while much of the Overlook's nobility are fawning over the Shadow Scourgers, many of the rest of Seven Rivers still wants to know just who Edward Andrews actually is and why is he being put to death. No one that we interviewed seems to have ever heard of Andrews. Rumors say that he was charged with a very old law that hasn't been enforced in many, many years. Certain well before our beloved but late Baron Man McAllister ruled... A law that makes laying hands upon a noble criminal offense punishable by death. Other rumors are saying that Andrews is one of the terrorists that have been plaguing the city's nobility. But the general consensus by the citizenry seems to feel that this is misinformation put out by palace officials. One man who desired to remain nameless stated that who Andrews actually is is unimportant as he is just a scapegoat and his execution a diversion from what is really going on in the city. And yet another person has said that Andrews is still a person and still deserving of even the very basic of respect and consideration. If we aren't even told what he is being put to death for, who knows which of us could be next? In other news, which somehow ends up being the same news, a recent survey showed that the general population of the Western District showed in overwhelming numbers the city of Seven Rivers and possibly the world was going to shit. That people feared for their lives. That average general household incomes have dropped to alarming numbers in light of the recent surges and outbreaks of the sick sickness. And that overall, people just aren't satisfied with their life here. In contrast, the people of the Overlook that were surveyed almost unanimously stated that life was good, fruitful, and on the upswing. The only downside that was generally agreed upon was that the Eastern Districts were quite an eyesore to the community and something should be done about it. Unfortunately, the Eastern Districts could not be reached for a rebuttal or for the survey in general. Yeah. Once again, the palace asks us to remind you that the execution of Edward Andrews is this coming Sunday morning at first light. That's three days from now, folks. Bring the whole family. Festivities for all. Food and fun for the kids. Come join your friends and neighbors in fun and frivolity as we take the life of Edward Andrews. Oh, yay. Oh, yay. Oh, yay. No portion of this news was actually subscribed to by the town crier. Much of it was just through the palace. Thank you. Wow. What the fuck? That was what so much to take in. Wow. <laughs> that was. That yeah. was. Well. Um. Hey. You know what? I think we should, um, we're going to continue to look for Calandra's brother. I think we need to expand the scope, though. Mm -hmm. And figure out where everybody else is going. We're almost certain mm. we know where they're going. They're definitely being turned into mutant people, being dragged into the sewers, probably. <laughs> Wait, what? 
<laughs> oh, sorry. Rem yeah. <laughs> Do not remember Guys, the things we fought. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. Do you yeah, not remember what we fought? <laughs> the big. I, remember, I don't remember yeah. people being turned into mutants. Well, they were being kidnapped and dragged away by the mutant people, and then more of them. Oh, people. those big, lumpy, lopsided things? With, like, a bunch yeah, of those I'm parts? almost certain used to be people. Mm -hmm. Can we come up with a good name? I'll tell you guys. Now, I know Viv wasn't here, and you know what? I didn't share this with Calandra, because you're both okay. very new. Do you get the rest of you not remember when I said I had a vision? Not the tower blowing up with the butt trumpet one, but the other mm. one where Seven River burns uh -huh. and a sea of evil creatures was enslaving the people. I think we're uh -huh. kind of precursor to that right now. Oh. oh. I hadn't yeah. put the two together. Okay, well, <laughs> good news. Town Crier kind of inspired me a little bit here uh, to propose, I'm not saying this is right, but propose this might be what's happening. I think yeah. Calandra's brother. Yes, butt trumpet. No, 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 finish, finish, finish. It's okay. <clears throat> I was just gonna say, us looking for Calandra's brother. We'll focus on that, but expand and figure out, because Calandra and I noticed uh, the folk with the yellow wagons and whatnot, sh kind of shoving sick people into it, and we're not actually sure if they were sick or not. If the monsters are the ones taking the people mm. and then turning them also into monsters, shouldn't the palace know about this or the guard? Like, how do they not know this? We could have Three. two separate sets of disappearances can we, here. Can we, can we just call them lumsters? I think that's more fun. So we know which lumsters. monsters we're talking about. Lumsters. Those are lumsters. Lumsters. Lump or lum? No, butt trumpet described them. Butt trumpet described them as lumpy, and I like that. But I don't want to call them the lumpies. So I like yeah, lumsters. Kind of... Not frightening enough. <laughs> mm. It's like lump and monster together. Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Lump. So there well, is yeah, a okay. I I monster. What was that, butt trumpet? I'm just gonna, you know. Throw something out here. Uh, because I don't go out that often, or I didn't used to before I met you lovely folk, I've never been to an execution before. Are they usually this big of an event? See, for uh, dwarves? Yes, but it o they only do that for very extreme cases. Like, it is definitely to show you what you do not fucking do. So well, for if it humans was like to do this? It seems a little... If it was like a really bad person, it would be a big event, yeah. right? But but it yeah. sounds like they don't even know who this person is, so that's really so weird, that's right? really weird in my... I'm just saying, I, I, I'm not trying to uproot our plans, but I think maybe this should be a potential little group outing this coming no, Sunday. Sh I will get my face painted to take one for the team. <laughs> We appreciate that. Good. What about you, Calandra? Will you be around for face painting? <clears throat> um, you did a pretty good job of painting my face earlier. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I, um, this is true. I think I'll just guys field it because we are very good because dwarven yeah, we still sisters want to work with, with the Eldred walks over to Calandra and <laughs> takes a finger and some of the blood that's still under the nose turns it into a mustache and says, there we go. That's you, you really love my face, don't you, Eldred? <laughs> what the Can we hell? not touch? Hey, how about this? Unless we're healing one another or ask for assistance, stop touching one another. How about that? Can I perception check the group just to see like what kind of filth is all over them? Sure. El Eldred pokes you. Gaius in the check chest and says, you got it. <laughs> I'm glad you understand what I meant. My point he is says, I want to go to the execution. He That's says, just, absolutely. Off topic here. <laughs> he says, absolutely, that. and taps you on the cheek. Mm. A 15 for perception. Okay, what is it you want to know? 
I just want to get an idea of like what is on each of their persons because apparently Calandra had blood on her face. I just want to see like what is the state of each person and what filth is on them? Where have they been? Um, you just notice that they're kind of generally in their unkeptness. Um, okay. That you've seen before with them, but you do notice that uh, Nikita does have uh, some scratches and blood on her knuckles. Other than that, everything kind of looks the way you remember the last time you saw them, for the most part. Unless anybody has anybody bought anything new that they're wearing since Vivalda last saw all of you. I'm gonna, sure Reed has am a I clean now? Oh, everyone has. Am I has clean or? <laughs> Would you be? Well, because she also, like, smushed. So, like, I, Gaia's healed me, but I would have, like, the fruit that she, or. Wait, there was fruit, too? Wait, what happened? She knocked me with. She, Wait, hold on. Sorry. In character voice. Wait, me. what happened? Are we doing in character or not? <laughs> this is me, Gaius, in character, asking. Why are you covered in fruit? Well, well wait a minute, uh, Calandra, were you talking to me or were you talking in general? This is sorry, This is Ruby talking to Paul. Am I clean or am I dirty? <laughs> okay, well, I mean, you're not like, I mean, you're in not the like general... like fresh and clean, not pristine. You're, you're clean, you're just, uh, just not necessarily, you're not filthy, but in okay, this, okay. you know, this is not the sort of, uh place where people necessarily bathe every day okay so this group especially um what oh i <laughs> so, we I'm like the only actual so much money on bathing <laughs> i call bullshit gaius has become more of a neat freak than i initially He's intended bought... to do because of the place gaius has bought us. a lot of soap <laughs> this he is smells of sandalwood on the regular <laughs> and also wine, which is obvious. Mm. Wine and sandalwood, which is a terrible smell. I go over next to uh, I go over next to Calandra and I just say, "So, Eldred has a spell that'll clean up your face if there's like blood and stuff." Ooh. Yeah, if you can mm. trust him. <laughs> 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 well, <laughs> he has not done anything. I, I'm you not bothered a, by Eldred so far. Yeah, I don't know if you have a mirror, but he, he gave you a, a mustache of blood. I could feel I could feel <laughs> the, the, the the dribbles. He, he's, he's, Eldred he's, says, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me take care of this. He, he puts out a hand as if to read, says like, talk to the hand. And he goes over to Calandra and goes like this. And you notice the mustache on Calandra disappears. And there's a much bushier one on, on Reed now. Uh, this is there acceptable. It is. That's what we were waiting for. I put my scarf back up. Do I notice it? <laughs> uh, Short Reynolds. <laughs> Read P.I. <laughs> <laughs> Reading them. Um, give, give me a perception check there, Reed. Halfling P.I. Halfling P.I. Halfling P.I. Oh, I'm so perceptive. Yeah, Woo! you absolutely notice it. Hey. <sighs> Thank God you got that 19 for whether or not you notice a mustache. I'm sure it wasn't wasted. We saw the Valda, though. <laughs> <laughs> so nobody can probably see it, but I am grinning from ear to ear under my scarf. <laughs> oh, awesome. <laughs> Made him so are happy. we still going? Um, are we still uh, walking and talking? I assume so, yes. Uh, yeah. 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 Okay, cool. No, and I now think fan art, add a mustache to read. Yeah. Thing now. <laughs> I think Bud Trumpet made the good point. We should definitely uh, attend the execution. But do you think there's a way we could visit this 
Aunt, Aunt, what the hell was his name? Edward Anders first somehow? Mm -hmm. Do you think they're holding him somewhere where we can talk to him? I... Is he up in the other look? I sure don't know. Probably. Should call an aid or that jail or... The jail uh, we were in. Nikita, you know that what is on the colonnade is not known as the jail, but the prison. Oh, okay, okay. So that would be I would I would know that is where they are holding him, or I would guess that is where they are holding him. Uh, you have no idea. Uh, oh, you okay. just know that it's a much it's a larger facility. It's not gigantic or anything. But right. it is, you know, significantly bigger. I mean, it's an entire building that's set up to house prisoners, as opposed yeah. to when you were in jail, it right. was a few cells in a basement. Gotcha. Okay. We know... They did not treat your threat properly. <laughs> <laughs> <Excuse> <laughs> we know there is a large prison building on the colonnade I would think if this person is going to be executed at the colonnade that would be the easiest to keep them there but is anyway we, we do have stuff to do that is just something maybe if we have time eventually mm -hmm. well uh, Paul I guess what day is today and uh, how many days is this Okay. Uh, execution the execution is like, three days from now. Days. It is currently Sunday. Thursday the 2nd. Okay. And the execution will be the morning of Sunday the 5th at first light. Gotcha. Ooh. Okay. So we got some time. Sunday, Sunday. Yes. Uh, I was going to go more if like Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Just... Sunday. <laughs> Sunday. Welcome to the execution. <laughs> Actually, Sunday, execution. bloody Sunday. <laughs> when did your when brother go missing? We cut this guy's head off. Sorry. <laughs> what was that? Rosa Volda. I said, when did your brother go missing, Kalandra? <laughs> He's actually been missing most of my life. Um, oh. But I recently, by recently, I mean a few months ago, was contacted by his old mentor, his old teacher, a friend of his that I believe He's got a great name. I, he's got a great name. He's got Maybe a hear this one. Grimoire Fair. <laughs> <laughs> Grimoire Fair. He's the man I'm looking for. He knows I believe he knows where my brother is. All right. And all I have to do is, is get into the looking for? <laughs> <laughs> All I have to do is get into the Eastern Districts to find Grimoire, and then I can find my brother. Which is going to be is what? really difficult. <laughs> what That's we are hoping to do, Viv, is uh, I need some leathers, and we need to go talk to someone named Aqualung in the Jubilee s Section District fucking thing. Um, <laughs> To find out how the fuck to get into the Eastern District. Like, sneakily, oh, nice. because it's shut down. Mm. You know, I don't necessarily need armor, but at some point, maybe we should, like, start getting some things that would make my appearance a little bit more threatening in the rougher areas. And less kidnappable. Like scary pajamas? Well, Eldred says, well, like, what's more scary than a dragon? The, I thought that. Half the onesies are covered in syrup now, I think. So. <laughs> they are. They are filthy now. <laughs> Some eyeliner. Eldred has help. a spell for that. Exactly. I was thinking eyeliner and fangs. Oh, that ooh. would be very cool. I like that. Perfect. I'm glad you two are here to help with that. I do <laughs> Eldred goes. I I got you covered, friend. And, and and kind of <laughs> wipes a hand over your face, and all of a sudden you notice it looks like Butt Trumpet's eyes are sunk into their head with all this black shadow around them, <laughs> like like you know, 
an emo goth kid, and they've got these yeah. fangs that come out and kind of go in little circles. Like a little That's elephant true. with your soldier. Yes, and you Guys. also have a bone nose ring. Guys, that doesn't feel good. I don't like that. I told you, El I told you Eldred was evil. <laughs> this is a good look, but trumpet actually, I like this. Really? The hey, you, nose you, especially. You, you need to look in the so mirror. <laughs> look so fierce, so fierce. You look like the evil mirror Great. people that came out. <laughs> it's almost Ooh, like your teeth are an evil curly mustache. <gasps> I can this twirl them wickedly while I chuckle. <laughs> yes. Perhaps. Go for it. Yes. Okay. It might be difficult since this. they are bone, but... I pinch the tip of one of my tusks and I, like, pretend to twist it and go, nee -hee 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 -hee. <laughs> Scared? Oh my goodness. No, actually, that yes, didn't help. terrified for... Eldred yeah. goes, no. <laughs> Don't do that! I'll work on it. Okay, yeah. so terrifying. Maybe we should, uh, save this for special occasions, but, uh... Yes. I'll still hit you up when I want to look tough. <laughs> if we could just boop this back. Oh, you mean now? Except for the eyeliner, though. Okay. Honestly, I just kind of like that in general. <laughs> Boop boops the uh, the fangs kind of suck back into your mouth. The nose ring kind of does a swirl up into your nose. Your eyes kind of move forward, and they just look like Robert Smith eyeliner now. I'm fine with this, although, let me tell you, the weird feeling of congestion from those things retracting, it's its a feeling. I feel a certain type of way about that. Anyway, let's go. <laughs> to the two so Eldred. Eldred, I didn't know you were a fairy godmother. Do you do stuff with pumpkins too? I don't want to know. What <laughs> All of a sudden, pumpkins. the the pumpkin kind of does a quick swing and look at you, guys, and then looks over at Eldred. By the way, someone want to tell Vivalda about the pumpkin? Oh uh, yeah, we have a s awakened pumpkin friend. I think. We got and a who? new jack o' lantern. Is it on Reed? I thought it was on you, Did Nikita. I okay, I, I, was I wasn't Nikita. sure if How? I still had it. So the How evil is witch it? hag, uh, it stands up and then it's like standard pumpkin size, and it has a okay. happy like face Paul's on head it. Big. The time. Bigger. Oh my gosh! Bigger than Paul's. Two of Paul's heads. <laughs> Possibly three. Oh <laughs> uh, shit! What did we decide to call it? Jack. Yes, Jack. This is Vivalda. We you see this jack-o'-lantern lean forward. It, it's resting on all this thick pumpkin vine that just kind of holds on to Nikita's shoulder. And it leans forward and just kind of big smile and uh, wink. And then goes back and just kind of slowly bounces next to uh, Nikita's head. Oh, I like him. He's fun. I do well, enjoy that. And quiet. Yes. Good oh. thing Nikita doesn't have to sneak, though. <laughs> It'd be hard to sneak with it. Does Does the jack o' lantern uh, pumpkin Jack d does he fight? You see the pumpkin kind of go. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. All right, I understand. I feel confident in saying this. No. <laughs> nope. Just for he is very pretty. Okay. I pet him gently. <laughs> we did have a we did get in a fight though and a, and a cat fought with us. Not against us, with us. A cat. Mhm. Mm a blue any cat. special type of cat or just a normal cat? A magic cat. Oh, no. magic cat. Yeah. A magic cat. Yeah, we seen some <laughs> shit. <laughs> it's been a time since you've left. It has not been quiet. Oh, Eldred yeah, says, our, our world has been nothing more than a litter box. The yes. usual, then. That's a, <laughs> what a way to describe it. We haven't been in the sewers, though, since you, you left, so that was a good thing. Well, that's probably yeah, for the best. Don't speak too soon, Reed. 
I have a yeah. bad feeling how we're going to get to the Eastern districts. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> oh, no. If only Please Elder could make us fly. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, you can't do that. Uh, so Nikita is keeping an eye out for any leather selling stores, and I guess we're walking towards the Jubilee. Okay. Yes. I'm yes, avoiding any sure. leather stores. Yep. It was only oh, Happy there. Harry's. You'll be fine in the other ones. <laughs> Okay. Give me a uh, was... perception check there, uh, Nikita. I was going to say, are we sure they're not franchised yet? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, hey, not bad. As you're walking, you do see a lot of, uh, like, mannequin, like, dress mannequins and such in a store, and there, is, they are, there does seem to be a lot of leather... <laughs> <laughs> of different colors. Hey, is that the thing you were looking for? <laughs> I think so. Uh, if you guys want to go ahead, I can just check in, or do you want to wait? Or I we should split up in here. Yeah. If does anyone need any of their leather? Anything else? Anything new? Shiny? Oh, I'm all leathered time? out. Elder goes. <laughs> read. <good>. Nope. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> How about you, but I would Trumpet, like... we can see if we have anything that fits. Honestly, this time around, I think I better hold off. I do think that any armor is going to, like, make me already less strong than I already am. Okay, just checking. If everyone's okay with me hiding behind them when necessary, mm -hmm. I'll still contribute. <laughs> we know. <laughs> of course. All right. I will head into the store then. Okay, you go in this store and you you see that this is kind of a fashion shop. You yeah. see a lot of uh, leather dresses, coats, pants, shirts, uh, some things you're not sure what they are, some things that you think you know what they are, and once you realize that they're made of leather, leather you wish you didn't. You, you look through there, and with that role, we'll say, I mean, you see a lot of belts, you see a lot of hats. You do see basically a section, a small section in the back that does seem to have kind of previously owned leather goods. Why don't you give me another roll as do an investigation this time and then tell me the number when it rolls so that viewers can see as well. 15. Okay. 16. Okay. Let me see here. Okay. Uh, you find mostly like leather pants, leather uh, shoes, belts, some things that, you know, a couple really natty looking hats and things like that. Uh, you do look at something that, see something that looks like it might be basic leather armor because really padded and stuff. Uh, right. Like armor is compared to regular garments. But it doesn't look like it's necessarily cut for your dwarf physique. It's definitely for mm -hmm. like, a human, but it could probably be tailored a little bit for you. But mm. it, you know, a basic, a basic, you know, shortening of the legs and sleeves and stuff, sort of thing. Maybe a taking in of the waist just a little bit, or who knows? Maybe that won't need it, depending on the circumstances. Would it actually, uh, okay, Cheryl to Paul? Yes. Would it actually work in in terms of? armor like some semblance of ac or this looks like it, it definitely looks like leather armor just okay. leather armor that is made more it's kind of looks like it's it looks like some wealthy person long ago wanted to be tough but also wanted to be exceedingly comfortable so it doesn't it their thought was i i'm not a i'm not an adventurer i'm not a fighter i just need to look good so it would serve the basics of being leather armor. You just would need it tailored to fit you. But it's not real sturdy like regular armor. So if you ran across some issues, 
you, for instance, when you had the situations with some of the messier creatures in the sewers, you this might be more easily to fall apart. I guess I can uh, look, walk back out and continue looking for a proper armor shop as opposed to fashion shop. Okay, you see Nikita come back out and uh, you guys continue on. Anything weird happen in there? <laughs> nope, nothing weird, but it was mostly leather for like clothing, not really armor. So not yeah. very protective. Mm. So You're gonna since put a I pin get pin hit a lot, I'm going to need armor. <laughs> By any chance, is there like um, an armory or a blacksmith nearby I can purchase another sword from? Give me a survival check. You or Gaius? Okay. 16. This happens to be my forte, even though I wander the woods mostly drunk. Exactly. <laughs> and the streets. Your power? You're drunk and you know things? <laughs> I drink and I know things, yes. I'm going, <laughs> quote me. Vivalda, you, uh... I'm not sure if you are around for this, so I'm going to say that Gaius remembers that if you de if coming up on you passed the university and gone a little bit past there, uh, you passed where Gaius, where you turn north to go to Coin Kisser's Court. If you continue further, just above the road will be the Artisan District. Well, uh, Viv. You need a sword, Nikita. You want to purchase some oh, stout leather? You could take a quick detour. Artisan districts right there. Hit that up real quick. Pick up what you two need, and then we can continue on to the Jubilee district. This works. Sounds ah. good. Uh, in order to speed things up with this, yeah. so that we don't get into a whole this turning into a shopping episode, uh, what I'll say is Vivalda and Nikita. Uh, Vivalda, you find a selection of short swords and long swords, exceedingly basic. Just use the cost from, from the manual, and if you want to, you can buy it. Nikita, you find regular leather and for a dwarf, and you find studded leather that doesn't look like it would fit you. It doesn't look like it's built for a dwarf. And you also find scale mail for a dwarf. These are things, this is, as you would say, off the rack. So if you're looking for quick, that's what's available. Right. Just noting, if, if I can, I just want to watch when Vivolda pays. I just kind of want to see, just an estimate of how much money she's got. Just check. Okay. Uh, oh, how suspicious. <laughs> Sneakily. Sneakily, of course. <laughs> Yeah, let's Reed, see how sneakily that eyeball. Reed, give me a perception <laughs> check. And Vivalda, give me your choice. A uh, deception check or just, or, you know, if, if you notice or anything like that, it's up to you. Uh -oh. Okay. Uh, so just roll a 20-sider at this point with that roll. All right. <laughs> That's just a 20-sider. Oh, nope. <laughs> Just a two. Okay, what the what does Reed perceive? Um, Viv just goes into the shop, buys a short sword, which I'm looking up the amount of <laughs> coins that takes right now. Ten. So she puts down ten gold for this sword. Okay. Does it does it look like you got a lot left in your pouch? <laughs> um. Uh, probably about the same amount-ish, based on what I've got in my character sheet. <laughs> <laughs> Is scale mail quieter? No, it has a disadvantage on stealth. No. Okay, screw that. Uh, this episode of Grognard and Friends brought to you by the Read Book of How to Make Friends, Keep Friends, and Influence People. Tune in later to get the whole set of the Read Encyclopedia. Coming soon from Grognard and Friends. And oh, don't forget the execution of Prisoner 12225, Edward Andrews, <laughs> on Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> for the kids. There will be corn dogs for the kids. <laughs> corn dogs sponsored by Happy Harry's House of Leather. Oh, no. Are corn dogs canon in the Grognard universe? What? Are corn dogs canon in the Grognard universe? In the Nardiverse, I, if you will? I think it, they're like... They're like... Uh, Covered sausages, probably, because we don't have a lot of hot dogs necessarily, but there's different sausages. I'd say that'd be oh, a thing, especially in Seven Rivers. On a stick. On a stick. On a stick. You see. Uh, On a stick. Okay. Now then. Anyway, what the fuck were we just doing? Right. Uh, uh, sword. Nikita will pick up the regular leather. Um, I've got that at an AC of 11 uh, and for 10 gold. And Vivalda, I know you're covered. Anybody mm -hmm. else need anything in the Artisan District while you make a quick stop there? I'm good. Okay. I don't think so. Reed? Nope. Nope. Okay. Is Hildegard at their station? I was... Uh... Uh, you see the station, you see the forge going, but with a roll of a one, I'm going to say she doesn't appear to be there at the moment. Uh, There's a really I'll big, say... cruel lady that works there. I <laughs> like her very much. <laughs> Guys, just collect stone really... components while he's here. Just... Are just any of them odd? No, 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 no. Like I said, the only one that you gave me the blessing for was basically reusing that uh, crystal acorn I got for okay. the, the clairvoyance or whatever that one spells. Right. I forget. But no, nothing, nothing strange yet. Okay. Just, uh, just standard restocking of supplies. Like, okay. Not, nothing weird. <laughs> like balls of yarn, wax. <laughs> yeah, you know, your basic albino mule scat. You know, the usual. Um, <laughs> Kerosene, uh, lighter that's, fluid. That's, that's Eldred. Yeah. <laughs> the Eldred of blood, what? you know, the standard stuff. Jars of spiders. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, blood trumpet, they have jars of spiders on sale. Do you want one? <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> they also have live or... They also have live or uh, recently dead. Also deep fried, fried in cornbread <laughs> that on a stick. A vendor. <laughs> Spider dogs. Really tiny <laughs> sticks, little toothpicks. <laughs> uh, how much are they? Oh, no. Cocktail oh, no. spiders. These are the big spiders. The cocktail spiders are, oh, are a copper a piece. <laughs> oh, no. I'm interested in trying one if somebody else wanted to do it with me. Uh, I'll do it. I'll uh, do it. Uh, oh, one. no. Nikita <laughs> just stares and watches. <laughs> I, I, like much, yeah. spell work. I don't consume them into my <laughs> uh, they're exceedingly smoky but they also you notice they taste a little bit like a very earthy version of crab oh that's, so that's actually quite delightful I... I'll take I'll your word for make it make a note of this place this is quite enjoyable mm. Right, yeah. <laughs> I'll abstain. Quite I will I will let you know that that description comes because I am a weird ass foodie watching all sorts of weird ass food shows. Comes from the actual description of a of a show I saw on people on this one culture that actually deep fries spider tarantulas. That's so awesome. I just yeah. took it from that. Not Good surprised. for them. I respect their culture. That is definitely not for me. <laughs> nope. <laughs> well, you can pass them along. I will handle it. Yep. You guys have fun with that. We have splendid, actually. <laughs> for for a silver, they'll give you a little bag of them. Ah, spider bites. <laughs> spider bites. How many? Oh, How God. many in the bag? What? How many? Usually How eight. many in the bag? Probably ten. Maybe between 10 and 20. Do you want to split it, Calandra? Yeah, that's lovely. Let's do that. Yeah, let's yeah. do it. All right. Yeah. 
Usually yeah. I gotta give you an ointment for spider bites. <laughs> <laughs> and now you just gotta <laughs> give him a got silver. Your, I've got your berries <laughs> to put in my mouth. It'll be fine. Okay, so moving along. <laughs> um, <laughs> Jubilee, right? Well, you know what? It would fix the spider bites. I guess. <laughs> she could use them as topical ointments. <sighs> Jubilee district! <laughs> Jubilee. You keep walking, and you make it to the right, Jubilee district, doctor. which... Um, so you go past the artisan district, you go past the uh, the Black Cathedral, which Calandra and I'm not sure Vivalda, did you see the Black Cathedral before? It sounds familiar, yes. It's basically a giant cathedral that is the it's very dark. It is not a uniform color of black. It's like a very cloudy black. But it's, it, it looks like it was a, an amazingly ornate cathedral. Like dwarven ornate. Really good work. Really good stone work. <laughs> dwarven. All right. Dwarven. 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 <laughs> dwarven. <laughs> the, the doors are nice polished wood, but the, all the stonework is very intricate, but covered in this black, smoky, cloudy coloring. Um, you go past that. And just past that is the Black Friars District, which mm -hmm. is the Western District's version of Death's Door. It has a similar door in the clip that you recognize from having gone by Death's Door so often. Uh, the road. Death Door. <laughs> yep. The road then the road the main road that you've been traveling on then makes a turn south a pretty drastic turn because it's like the road up to this point was kind of like traveling from eight o'clock to one o'clock and now it, it kind of makes a turn down to like five o'clock and the corner you see a small section where the cliff meets the waterfall it's a small district known as martyrs fall um you notice that most of martyrs fall it just seems like it's always raining there because the waterfall is just constantly the spray from it. So you notice this area called Martyr's Fall, the ground's always wet and there's always dripping and it's just a little different. You continue further south and you pass by a little section called Whiskey Bottom that is filled with uh, distilleries with a few uh, distillery bars there. And just past that, you you come into Jubilee Court, which is a lot more ornate. Uh, there's a lot of buildings with second floor balconies, a lot of, a lot of intricate wrought iron work. Um, there's strings of lanterns and flags crisscrossing the roofs all the way down. And further down the street, you can see a, it opens up into like a large square and there looks to be a large fountain in the center there. That's what we are looking for, Da. Yep. Yep. All right. We, we are going in the right direction. As you uh, go down the street here, you notice a lot of uh, theaters, cabarets, uh, mm -hmm. places for other sorts of nightlife, cafes, restaurants uh things like that you you get down towards the fountain and you notice the fountain it's a large square but basically it's an area where two roads meet so it's an intersection of two roads and there's this big fountain in the center and it's kind of a round round center square there uh you notice kind of it it's a whereas the jubilee quarter has been kind of quiet some of the bars and cafes, you hear a few, a little bit of movement and some voices in some of them. But overall, this area is pretty quiet. Down by the fountain, you notice that you probably see, you'll probably see more people walking around. Some just sitting around looking at the fountain. But there's far more people around here than there is up in the Jubilee Quarter proper. The Quarter continues past this fountain and looks to be just as kind of 
not very well occupied at the moment. Mm -hmm. uh, but you see around the fountain, you see uh, you see a couple in a couple different spots. You see people standing on crates or boxes and spouting out to the crowd. Some have little crowds around them listening. Some less, some more. Some are talking about the end of the world. Some are talking about taking down the Baron. Some are talking about the goodness of certain gods. Some are saying how life has given them a hard time. And please, they, they just need... Uh, money to feed their children. Uh, you see a homeless guy standing on a quarter begging. You see um, a group of of individuals in green cloaks standing together and singing with a little open hat at their feet. And you see a number of people just sitting by looking at the fountain. Some are tossing copper pieces in. Some are paying attention to, like, taking in all the different things. And then you notice different, uh, there are a number, like, two or three different food vendors here. Uh, there, there's one that, that's serving what looks like a fried dough that is then heated up with, with uh, different toppings and, and, and things like that on top. There yes. is one that's... Um, Basically, you doing the equivalent of snow cones a little bit, but instead of syrups, a lot of it's alcohol-based syrups. <laughs> um, you see another one serving toad in a hole, and you see but another one. Hmm? Is it actual toad? <laughs> You'd have to ask. You just see the sign saying toad in a hole. All right. Shit, that could go either way. <laughs> yup. <Yeah. laughs> Do we have time, guys? Can I get one of each? It's not spider. Oh. <laughs> we'll keep him busy and, yes, away from Aqualung. I mean, I don't see why not. Like, sure. Whatever. <laughs> um. <laughs> Elder goes, I'll go with you. Which one do you want to try there first? <laughs> Um, I want the dough thing. That looks good. I'm Toad in the hole or, the or the, uh, Yeah, the fried... I'm gonna go with Vivalda and we're gonna get snow cones. <laughs> okay. I'm going there next. Sweet. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Come along. So, guys, basically you see Calandra and Vivalda go, I want snow cones. The other one goes, I want snow cones. They start heading there and Reed and Eldred, Eldred's go going, Reed goes, I want the fried dough thing. And they're going, snow cones? And then all of a sudden he goes, snow cones? Yeah, yeah, I want yeah. those too. And so he, he follows after them, and they all get snow yeah. cones. Um, <laughs> guys we'll turns to Nikita and Butt Trumpet. Do you guys want anything? I think Nikita came well, with right? us. The snow cones go sounded well? good, but I had enough to drink at the Green Hag. So I'm going to, let's find this Aqualung dude. I do want to know if I can get anything bites. else I'll throw up. <laughs> You're full of spider bites. <laughs> I, didn't I didn't spider bites. Oh, uh, I don't know. No, that was it just was the other two. Yeah, <laughs> it was the other two. Spider bites give you bugs. No, in the elf, man. The no, in the elf. Spider bites give you bugs. Eldred goes. They're, they're tropicals. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, the tropical yeah, spiders. You ever have a spider bite and then put on Dark Side of the Moon to the Wizard of Oz? <laughs> yes, in fact. It's just my hey. alcohol levels are starting to deplete. You know, I've got to top right. up. It's, right. it's been a little too yeah. long. Yeah, I, I guess. I guess in this world, it's it's spider bites, Dark Side of the Moon, and arachnophobia. <laughs> I freak out and cry. <laughs> But it, it matches well, up gonna, amazingly. We're not going to we're not going to disrupt the party too much. We'll let them have whatever they want. Yeah. I'm going to see if they just put that alcoholic syrup in a cup. Okay, so uh, drizzle it on some waffles. <laughs> it is like a waffle. You you can get like a waffle cone. Um, oh, gross. <laughs> you know, 
Sure, Guys, that's good. if you try to look for Aqualung, I will assist you. Sure. Um, Nikita, you're the only one who knows. You're the one who got the info. If I remember properly. Okay. Right. Sort of. Maybe I the, thought you were there. Sort of. Were you? Yeah. Well, you were the one engaging gentlemen. with the person. Yeah. You were the one talking. I was, <laughs> yes, I was present. I was, I'm just letting you know. I'm letting you take the lead. This is, this is your thing. This is your bit. You took the lead I on this. It. I got you your bag. Your bag, baby. I, say. I am requesting your assistance. God, Reed's already in the... Reed, Reed, Calandra, Vivalda are in line waiting to get snow cones. Gaius, Bud Trump, and Nikita are, are, what are you doing then? <laughs> On mission. Aqualung. We're going to go. Nikita, remind us again what the, uh, this aqua lung looks like. He is an elderly gentleman, uh, apparently mm -hmm. very obvious should be hanging out at the fountain. I don't know that he's one of the ones shouting on the boxes, but I think we can, if we can circle them, we sh there should be someone. She said he stands out, like very obviously. Oh. Roll for old okay. people perception check. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Roll for obvious Perception old check for blue hair. <laughs> Nikita, give me an elderly perception check, please. Who's helping? Butt trumpet's helping me? Bah. Yep, I'll help. I'll help. <laughs> and I will add guidance I will put... to it. Double ah, spasiba. Spasiba. Perception with the butt trumpet on my shoulders and the uh, guidance. That's kind of how butt. I look right now with this lineup. Like on your shoulder. <laughs> That's, That's a pretty good fucking roll. I am screwed for the rest of the day now. <laughs> I pray to God we don't get into a fight because you're not hitting anything. Yeah. yeah. I will just gnaw on them. Where was that earlier? Hmm. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Do we see any old people? Okay. Two any of the pe old people? Two of the people on boxes are obviously old. One has glasses and long kind of Albert Einstein like white hair the other one um no glasses but they have a little mustache and hair white hair over their ears both are dressed kind of standard although the one looks like he's wearing professorial robes almost and the homeless guy you can't tell how old he is but he's got long ratty uh kind of between brown and ginger hair with a few streaks of gray in it. And he's dressed in, like, ratty-tatty, uh, olive and brown-covered rags, basically. I am thinking, uh, hey, butt trumpet, I am, and Gaius, I'm thinking I can mm -hmm. ask the homeless person, the uh, person without the house, if he knows who mm -hmm. Aqualung is. And then you know, give him a little, a little money, like a silver or something. Does that sound good? Do you good? think it would help? Like I could potentially, uh, I could use subtle spell to use charm person if you, if you maybe wanted some assistance oh. from me. Yeah. That could work. Because okay. Because with that, you won't trigger them realizing they've been charmed by you. That's good. That's good. I'm not as dumb as I look, you know. My old you don't tell me You really gotta stop nagging yourself. Seriously. It's the trauma. Have... That's what Eldred <laughs> is for. I'm here for the trauma, is what Eldred yes. says. <laughs> Jesus, uh, Eldred. <laughs> weren't you in line for snow cones? He's I, I, like heard, I heard an opportunity to jump in with something sarcastic. I'm sorry, I, I don't want to lose my spot. I'll be back. Eldred, do you want the blue one? <laughs> Just a minute, I want to hear everything, what what, what there is. So, uh, Eldred kind of what, toddles, toddles back over to uh, Reed and the girls. So, Gaius and Butra and Nikita, talk to me, What what's happening here? 
you want to charm him I first agree. or give me give it the shot and then charm him if he seems poopy <laughs> honestly given the last time i attempted mm. to charm somebody it's probably smart to see if they are amiable first this sounds good oh god yes i keep forgetting what happens sometimes when you do things <laughs> Hey, it, at least it was just the bunnies that time. No one died. Not, Unlike not that you could handle it. Time. It was anyway nothing personal, but trumpet. Okay, I'm gonna just start walking over there. <laughs> it's better this way. Yeah. As, as you get close to this individual, it smells a little bit like sweat, uh, and a little bit of pee, little bit of pee musky clothes, <laughs> and. Um, you hear him breathing because his breathing is a wheezing. Interesting. I, and, and he looks at I you and I says, uh, Hello, little lady. <laughs> How are you? Alms for the poor? Alms? Ah, uh, I am doing well, thank you. Uh, and yourself? I will oh. pull out a silver, but I won't drop it in his hand just yet. Says, couldn't be better with better with companies such as your own. I consider myself honored. <laughs> you are too kind. Oh, uh, you you're welcome. You wouldn't happen to yeah, know. You as awkward fact, as long. Yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't happen to know or be, in fact, uh, aqua lung? His eyes kind of twitch a little bit. They squint a little bit. He leans a little bit forward and says, Who wants to know me has to ask? Uh, I will now place the silver into his palm and say, uh, A lovely dwarven lady named Nikita looking to get into the Eastern District. Oh, <laughs> Trixie, 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 it wants to know about the Eastern Districts. <laughs> that is quite the thing. Now, who might have given you my name? <laughs> Bit of a story. I will cut to the chase. A bartender at the Green Hag. Oh, Mary. I yeah. see. Now we are. Okay, good. Ah, uh, yes. I, uh, for a moment I thought she had heard about the artifact. What artifact? <sighs> if I may ask. Oh, that is expensive information. But well then, worth it if you're talented. Well worth it if you ever have it in your mind to be rich. Or powerful, even. How about we start with the Eastern District? And then we see how that goes. Because I'm quite sure we can work something out about your shiny artifact. No if, problem. If your information no is good. He looks at you and then kind of his attention gets taken. You notice not too far away a couple of girls are talking. They seem it's it's odd because they look like they're probably late teens, early twenties, but they're kind of dressed like they just got out of school, like they might be fourteen or something. It's a little you find it a little uh, like wrong. And he goes, right. just a minute. And he kind of sneaks up behind one of them and whispers in their ear. And the girl turns around and slaps him across the face and says, you dirty pig. And the two of them run off. And he comes back and he's like, <laughs> okay, so do you have more money and we can figure this out for you? Oh, I hate him. I'm not even there. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Those kids are um, girl bosses. Mm, um, so right now I'm just looking for the Eastern District information. I know. 
just verifying. Give me five gold pieces. <laughs> Can I do an insight check on old Wheezy? Absolutely. <laughs> I don't I know. Old Wheezy. That's actually not bad. Hey! Yes. Look at that. <laughs> You feel like he, uh, he's being straight up with you. Yeah. That is what I was afraid of. Five gold, you say. Cost doing business, don't you know? <laughs> I understand, but I have a possible sweetener for you. You oh. stay the fuck away from young women and I'll give you five old gold. Good boy. I will hand over five old gold coins. Mm. Two hours. Be at the witch's promise. Go in. You'll find Barry and Martin, the bartenders. Either one will, wo will work. Tell them you're here to check out the stoves. See you in two hours. And he kind of wanders off. It'd be really oh, funny if he, like, tried to back up, but he just fell into the fountain. Right? <laughs> Simply, I see you wish. in two hours. <laughs> <laughs> I meant to do that. Exactly. <laughs> Slash so, so what was the name of the bar again? What was the name Witch's of the bar? Witch's Promise. Witch's Promise. Which Do not know where that is. Barry and Martin? Barry and... I will come back. Which is promise? Barry and Martin. Two hours. They are the bartenders. We say we are there to check out the stoves. The if I stoves. heard through the... Yeah. And okay, so... Sorry. Go, go ahead. Did he, like, disappear? Or can I keep an eye on him? Because I want to make sure he doesn't go near any other young girls. He, he walks down a street. Damn. Uh Calandra, Vivalda, and Reed. You get to the front of the line. Uh you notice from everyone that the flavors seem to be a rum-based syrup, a whiskey-based syrup. Uh matter of fact, there's about three different whiskey-based syrups. <laughs> um and also a tropical spirits based syrup. What are the three whiskeys? Uh, there's straight Seven Rivers whiskey. There is um, the the Old Man's whiskey, which, being in town, you know that there is a whiskey cocktail that call, is called the Old Man. And there's also the something called the Bum's Rush. Do not get that one. Oh my! <laughs> Just you don't based want to know on past your experience. <laughs> Are oh, any of them colored? Diarrhea. Are yeah. any of them colored? Like yes, thank perhaps you. blue. Those uh, the tropical one is, is kind of an orange. You've noticed, and then uh, has a yellow syrup put on top of that. So it's a combination of things. Ooh, I get that one. Okay. I went that one. Based on looks. I do. How strong is the old man one compared to the Seven Rivers one? Uh, you asking the person who, who's at the stand? Sure. What would you um, recommend? The Seven Rivers or the old man? Both are good. Both are good, he says. Um, if you like whiskey, you'll love the flavor. It's, it's, they're, they're locus, locally, local whiskeys. The old man is based on a cocktail. So it's a combination of, of whiskey and cherry and orange. Oh, that sounds fun. I think I'll try that Ooh. one. Okay. I think I would like that one as well. Okay. Two of those and one tropical. That's, uh, yes, three coppers or basically a copper a piece. And he sets yeah, about I'll for everyone. I'll, it'll, it'll, I'll buy. Oh, if you, you want an actual waffle as as the cone, it'll be an extra copper. Wait, Eldred, what cone do you want, Eldred? Oh, uh, 
I'll do, uh, can I get a couple of them on one thing? He goes, uh, sure. Don't get much call for that. I'd recommend either uh, oh, the, the the rum-based one or the mixed with the tropical would work. And Elder goes, yeah, 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 that, 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 that. Okay, you want a, you want a, uh, a cone? Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that, too. And you see Eldred kind of, like, bouncing up and down, like, with a big smile on his face. <laughs> if you like Eldred pina under coladas. A, Eldred under a spell? <laughs> right? <laughs> Wait, do we have another doppelganger thing going on here? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hey, I just pure silver on them, I'll test them real quick. <laughs> Eldred gets his, just kind of then stops bopping and starts eating... And walks back, and he seems like his old self again. He's just really happy. I think somebody's got a problem. <laughs> <laughs> and as he walks by, you read, you hear, laugh it up there, bacon boy. <laughs> what? At least I didn't eat spiders. Oh, no, no offense. He's still being spiders. sarcastic, so that's normal, though. That is normal. Yeah. yeah. So, so they just did a little bit of research? <laughs> okay so each of you get your uh your thing um can we can we see um gaius and butt and nikita yeah yeah they're on the other side of the square from you they were talking to an old homeless guy but he's walked off now and they're kind of kind of talking amongst themselves except Nikita keeps looking after the guy with this really disgusted look on her face. Yeah, okay. She okay, just and left how much did... The group on. <laughs> they sure like they got got how much did Eldred drink? How much am I spending? Uh, well, Eldred's is two, two copper because okay. he okay. got the cone. Got, yeah. uh, just okay. depends if anybody else got a cone as well. Is, is mine on a cone? It depends if you want one or not. Yeah, of course. Okay. <laughs> how, how else are they getting to doing the snow cone thing? <laughs> there you go. Uh, well, the yeah. girl, the oh. girls seem to be in in uh, like a cut in half uh, citrus. Oh, yeah. That yeah. Yeah. that the inside has been scooped out of. Biggles, I still go cone. Okay. Because yeah, actually, it, it's it's a uh, a green and pink rind, and it gives you a little wooden spoon. Oh, it's adorable! I love that. All right, I'm keeping it. Reed, yours tastes um kind of like a cross between a fruit punch and a and a rum punch. Basically, it's like a very very fru fruity uh, flavored rum. And girls, your yours are kind of like uh, to put it in, in in Brianna and Ruby terms. They taste like a syrupy, frosty, old fashioned with like okay. extra fruit. Not mad about this at all. It's <laughs> very fun. Okay, back to Nikita, Gaius, and Butt Trumpet. Yeah. Anything? I wonder. I wonder if they uh, bought us some. They were nice about it. And, uh, <laughs> they bought us some. I mean, we're friends, right? We should probably have some. I don't know, well, guys. Sometimes we do those things, and sometimes we don't. We can walk over there and buy it ourselves, though, if you want. I mean, I you know. know. It's more of like the Frank right, thing. Like it's kind it's of like, unfair I... to put that sort of expectation onto somebody when, like, there was no communication prior. Meanwhile, like, on the other side of the know, square, spent... Reed, Reed is like, I can't believe I they didn't want any reasonable... of this. This is so good. <laughs> why, why, why didn't they want like, any? Why didn't they want a snow cone? It's so sad. I know. Yeah. We, we asked if they wanted to get in line with us, and they just ignored us. <laughs> Eldred says, well, with the exception of Butt Trumpet, they do lead pretty sad lives, don't you think? I mean, think about it. <laughs> Boy, I'm glad. I'm really glad you they can't it. hear you right now, Eldred. <laughs> I love that. Me. That's what Butt Trumpet latched on to. <laughs> I do. I am a sad sack. What the hell? I am depressed. 
<laughs> so, I mean, so, there's all that trauma, but you know. Exactly. <laughs> is at is, least they're not wearing their little potato sack anymore. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Okay, so uh, we'll say that you get back together now. Mm -hmm. Oh, right, mm -hmm. we're doing a thing. And as they come back, Eldred goes, Hey, guys, this is really good. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You, you should get him? one. I'll share with you, guys. The line only hey. took 15 minutes. <laughs> no, oh, well, Kalani have, alone. Uh, what flavor did you get? I... <laughs> Wait, what? El Elder no. goes to um, stick his out to you, and then here's Calandra and goes, okay, more for me. Turns around and walks <laughs> over. <laughs> I, okay, we're not going to deal with this at the moment. Um, Old man's we whiskey. We have two hours. Delicious. Uh, okay, in a moment. We got <laughs> Witch's Promise in two hours to go to, to meet up with our contact for the thing. Witch's that Promise. We're, that we, we were here for. Uh What's the witch's promise? Okay. Is it a boat? Do we get on a boat? It's, it's a bar. bar. It's a bar. Okay. Oh, okay. A bar. We're oh, looking good. for either Marty or Martin or Barry. Duh. Marty. Right? That's fine. Martin Marty. or Barry, the bartender. Do we get to pick? And we have to say that we are here to check the stove. We're here ah. to check oh. the stove. <gasps> and, uh, Do you check? And Paul, I would like to make a sleight of hand check to see if Gaius can actually taste something from somebody's snow cone. S sleight of hand. So could you could you expand expound upon that a little bit with me? Like how you go about doing it? Goes to like five feet long and like the under, under the skill under the skill. I will under the skills. give you mine. You can just have it. Oh my god. <laughs> Under the skill, sleight of hand. No sharing, so I don't get punched, and now I don't feel guilty. So, <laughs> have the snow cone. Gaius. Not having it. <laughs> Gaius, after I giving us a lecture on not touching else. each other, will now <laughs> stick his finger in the snow cone of somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Takes a Whoop. small spoon out that he has. His pocket spoon, of course. He's got his pocket spoon. I, owed, I very yeah, much want to know that somebody else relinquished some of theirs to me. So, Gaius, without interruption here, how are you going about this? Well, uh, like I said, I'm going to use the skill sleight of hand. And right. I basically, basically, what I'm asking. Are you leaning over and trying to take a lick of someone's, or are you using your hand to grab some of it off of someone's cone or cup? Oh, no. Guy, no, 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 no. Ni neither of those options. We, um, eat that can be disturbing. The wild on the regular because the, which means we have utensils. Guys pulls out a spoon. Okay. Because he doesn't Robin eat with his me. hands like a, yeah, pretty much. Except, you know, and just kind of surreptitiously. As people are bickering back and forth, this kind of like tries to. Yeah, to first, tell me it. from who, and second, give me a sleight of hand. First uh, up, from who? Eldred. Okay. Of course. <laughs> yes. If I'm going to steal from anybody, it's going to be Eldred. 13. 13? <laughs> That's pretty good. A, it's a tie. Eldred eat my spoon. No, it's a it's a tie. So basically, what happens is Eldred takes a spoonful, or actually takes a lick, sees like some of the arguing going on, seems to realize you're there, looks over, and you're going. And he's like. What are we doing again? Oh, yeah, we're going to the Witch's Promise. No, oh, okay. Okay. So we, we, we gotta allow time. for that time. And he goes, you, sh you sure you don't want some? It's really good. Oh, you know what? <laughs> it, what? You know what? It looks good. It looks good. It looks so good, I can almost taste it. 
Yeah, it, it is. That is that good, isn't it? Okay, so. <laughs> Uh, Nikita, you anyway. see, you see Calandra go to Gaius. You want some of mine? And Gaius takes out a spoon and just seems to go over to Eldred and go. And as he does that, Eldred then turns around and goes. And then starts talking. So. Okay, see what you need, way, Calandra? It's a thing. <laughs> it's a thing. Butt trumpet. Anyway. I think we should find out how far away the witch's promise is so we can allow for time to get there. Duh. Mm-hmm. Yep. I go to somebody that looks like they might take donations for their services or <laughs> might know where stuff is and just... Uh, hey, pretty you know much a lot of... Promise? The people on soapboxes have little boxes or hats laying in front of them. Some of them have a couple coppers or a silver in them. The mm. people singing ha have a little box that has a couple coppers, a couple silver. Perhaps there's somebody who's not busy or might be in between sets or something. It's kind of like, doesn't have a crowd around them. So I'm not like trying to interrupt their, their money-making business, basically. Okay. Just go up to them real quick. Well, there's a couple of food sellers. Uh, not all of them are busy at the moment. Okay, which one isn't busy? Uh, we'll say the one with the fried dough. Okay, I go over there. Okay. I am well met, vendor. Ah, and what can I get for you, sir? We have a number of choices today. Oh. Yeah, I'll do the fried dough with, uh, is that cinnamon and sugar? Yeah, I'll do that. Okay, we have that. We also have some savory ones as well, but I'll get this started for you right away. Right, make yeah, that two. Bit, uh, two, please. Two, two. Uh, make another one. Um, <laughs> okay. I was curious. I'm supposed to meet someone at the Witch's Promise? Do you know oh, who that up, is? Up the way uh, you came, as a matter of fact. I saw you come into the square. <clears throat> Oh, up the way, pass it? Oh, damn. yeah. It's uh, well, it's a small place. It's in between two big. Bigger places. It's it's on the left. Mm -hmm. On the, uh, back the way we came on the yeah. left. What is yeah. it in between? Uh, just a uh, reference if we've gone uh, too far. There, there. He basically tells you one is there. One's a cabaret and one's a theater. Both have been shut down since the sickness. Okay. But we've. Uh, well, I've got the the guy post. All right. Excellent. Thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. And he says, uh, "Okay, here you go." He starts sprinkling the sugar, starts sprinkling the cinnamon, sprinkling the sugar again on both of them, puts them forth and says, uh, that, that'll that be uh, five copper pieces, please. All right, and guy slides five copper over. Thank you very much. Very welcome, sir. Thank you, sir. guys. And uh, passes one to read. Well, good news, everyone. I, have, I know exactly where it's at. And we have like an hour and 51 minutes to spend. No, you have like an hour and a half, maybe, That's at this that. point. Okay. So if anyone wants more snow cones or toads and holes or whatever the hell else, <laughs> we have Okay, so who got what flavor? Because I'm curious about the snow cones and how they taste. Yeah. What, we what got did you the, get? the yeah. old man. It was really good. Okay. I got, what got a mix of things, I think. They call yeah, you, you, you see a snow cone go right in front of your face, Nikita, and you hear Eldred go, I got a combination of the tropical and the rum. You're welcome to try it. It's really good. I would like to try okay. it. Do I have you? Now I think he's been swapped out. <laughs> <laughs> he is Guy, guys, guys heads a spoon over to her. Here you go. Ah, spasiba. I will take a scoop and uh, try it. That is really good. Thank you, Elle. Then, right? Right? She can try mine if she wants. If you want, you can try mine. I would mine. like to. Thank I guess you can like try mine, too. People can try mine. I think mine's gone. I will take a scoop. <laughs> and then... I think yours is gone as well. <laughs> yeah, I would be shocked if it was still around. Reed just in the background <laughs> holding his head. He <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Brain freeze. Yep. Oh, it hurts my gem. 
Excellent. The gem's cold to the touch all of a sudden. Um, <laughs> yeah. Why? This can't be good at all. <laughs> Did you want to try any but from it? <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I'm still good from the uh, turnt coffee we had earlier this morning. <laughs> I can this is true. It was very good coffee. <clears throat> Twice I was the fried dough. No. Oh, you can have some of mine if uh, you want. It... Oh, yeah. It's good. Here, I share with my friends and guys. <laughs> oh. We're hiding them out. Mm. Like I did with all uh, of my money before. The guy is. Thank you yes. for offering Reed. She slowly eats the fried bread. <laughs> yep, that's pretty good, too. Did anyone try the possibly real toad in a hole? Oh, I almost forgot about I'll that. I'll take a I'll look at it. Yeah. Yeah, let's go take a look. I like trying. I want to get a bunch of syrups in that bucket with some ice, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Just like hand them one of your uh, wine skins and say, fill her up. Yeah. <laughs> Top her off, throw some ice in there, shake it up. <laughs> uh, says, get, what Gaius is doing. The person says, give me a silver. Yeah. And there you go. Okay, which one do you want, or do you just yes. want graveyard? It is, and he just puts a collection of all of them in there. Mm -hmm. Are you at yeah. the snow cone guy? Is that what you do? Light on the ice. Yes. No. <laughs> take some, take some ice tongs from the thing that you the, from the ice block that is usually where they he grinds and stuff. Goes over to the shaved ice. Takes the tongs, some shaved ice. Goes there. You go. Excellent. From the from the toad in the hole line, I yell over to Gaius. Can you get me another tropical one? I'll 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 give you some coins. That's all right. Yeah, get the little man a tropical one again. Okay, he liked it with the waffle. Do you want it with a waffle? Yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Reed, you recognize uh, the toad in the hole? Uh, you've had you've had these before. It's basically a soft cooked egg wrapped in sausage, wrapped in flaky pastry. Perfect. No real toads. Sounds good. <laughs> yeah, I would like to try one. Okay, there are. Uh, I'll buy a bunch of these and I will share it with everybody. Okay, they are. Uh, they are eight copper a piece. Oh. Well, yeah, okay, I can. I'm ready. <laughs> I'll still share. Hey, Copper G, I don't know. That's an awful lot to spend on supposed friends. Um, yes, exactly. <laughs> I'll still do it. It's okay, Reed. Friends. I can buy one for myself. You can share with the others if you want. Okay. Thank you, Dakita. <laughs> of course. Jeez. It's only one Copper, but it's apparently still a big deal. It's it's eight Copper. Eight copper. Still, Eight you copper. know what I fucking mean. <laughs> Nikita pops it whole into. Is it too large that she can't pop it into her mouth, or is it? A, no, a I think Nikita hole? probably could. Okay, it's a little stuff in there, and the minute you right. kind of go to bite down on it, it basically the the soft, uh, runny yolk squirts out into your mouth. Oh, Nikki's really good. You should try it at home. I bought four of them, Paul. Okay. Do not put all of them, just one. <laughs> <laughs> I walk back with Nikita and offer to share with everybody. And then if I got my uh, snow cone, I'm, I'm going to town on that again because that was really good. Okay. <laughs> we're While we're waiting for us to go to the witch's, um, the witch's promise. promise. I'd like to talk to Calandra. Okay. Um, so Calandra, how did you get, um, mixed up with, with this crowd? Well, I came about a month ago to the area. Um, I came here to start looking on my own for grimoire 
and um, there were rumors floating around about a group. Um, you know, around here, it's hard to discern mm. fact from fiction sometimes. And it wasn't very certain. They kept popping up enough that I decided to look into them as a way to help find Grimoire. So I found them one evening um, before I was to start well, I was going to head home. Thought I would stop in. I'd heard that they frequented the Stone's Throw. Stopped in, and I was lucky enough to stumble upon them. And they so graciously agreed to take the job of helping me to find Grimoire. <coughs> Heroes. <coughs> Here, Heroes, of course, don't let me undersell it. I, I would not want to to downplay any of their amazing and heroic achievements. Oh, Bib knows. <laughs> Bib knows amazing. we're heroes. So amazing, so kind and gracious and non-judgmental. <laughs> I'm keeping a straight face, stop it. <laughs> They've been well, so... Cool wonderfully accepting of me and and i hadn't found anyone else to help me but they were the first that agreed to help me find my brother so wow. super affordable viv <laughs> 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 and Kalid are gonna start like a support group <laughs> yeah <laughs> People who have come across this group. <laughs> Recovery from the agnostic alcoholic asshole adventurers. Anonymous. <laughs> For <laughs> AAA. <laughs> I don't know about that agnostic part. Because <laughs> you indiscriminately indiscriminately piss everybody off. <laughs> I it's our talent. It's not all peoples. <laughs> We're strangely our enough, not all assholes. On <laughs> <laughs> oh, but uh, trumpet, you're my favorite. Don't ever change. Possible. <laughs> <laughs> I only have one change of clothes right now. <laughs> <laughs> Dragon outfits. Huh? Two tiny clothes. They, they all the really, really messy because I don't take care of myself. I see. <laughs> the usual. We try, but you, you know how it gets. <laughs> Only so much can be done. So much syrup. <laughs> so much syrup. Eldred how says, so little passed? time. <laughs> what? How much time has passed? Um... Because I'm keeping an eye on, like, how much longer we have until we need to go to the Witch's Promise. We can move things up a little bit if you want. I would just say we start moving there as we're having these Yeah, walk and talk. Slow walk. Okay. Yeah. Eldred, sa Eldred says, uh, so guys and Nikita, what else did this uh, Aqualung person say? He was a perv. Um, <laughs> well, yeah. he whispered... <laughs> He whispered to two young girls, and one of them slapped him and called him and just called hey. him a perv, basically. Terrible person. Oh, there was uh, about an artifact potential purchase thing. Yeah, he, he want, did mention if a you want to possible make a bunch of money and power and, you know, the normal shtick you do to sell something that he has no idea what the value is. That's trying exactly. to upsell it to groups. Yeah, an artifact. Eh. Did, did That's, but he said it was it... more expensive, so, I mean, this information was five gold as it was, so I'm not sure, depending on how good this information is, we might or might not want to deal with him for an artifact. Oh, you can look into it and see what it is, yeah. and then, you know, Phenomenal take it from him. Power. And then yeah, he will <laughs> I was like, what? oh, Reed said phenomenal cosmic power. That's how much it is. Yeah, maybe. We don't yeah. know. 
I mean, I don't know what artifacts. <laughs> I mean, he wasn't are, actually but... there for the conversation. <laughs> oh. That's true. I think right. he was standing next to you for snow cones. That's correct. Reed is drunk on snow cones. Tropical snow Sorry, cones. Sorry, I was, I was looking really at the good. vendor and I didn't look down. So. Mm -hmm. You gotta be careful. They're always around you. Yes. You always gotta keep your eye on I know, I know. Do me? I have to get used around. to this again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> they are complaining about us back. little people, Calandra. They have it's to keep an eye on. It's not a slight. Um, it's not a height slight. No. Just, just saying. <gasps> That our uh, eyes like, are, like, are higher, so we have to remember to look down more. That's all. That's all I said. I'm trying not to knee in the head. Thank you. <laughs> right. <laughs> yes, we appreciate your kindness. Nikita, you need to stop that. Making eye You're contact and not hurting us. <laughs> Nikita, Eldred kind of gives you a little bit of an elbow and says, That was good. Way to go. He's. Is. Yeah. Yes, let the hate Eldred, flow every... you. <laughs> I'm, yeah, just, I'm definitely I'm insight of... checking him. I'm gonna as a family lean over to Nikita you're and be like creeping me out at all. Lean, lean over to Nikita and I'm just like, but everything guy has told me this he Eldred's acting all wrong. <laughs> He's usually I will lean back. He's usually a little more sarcastic and snarky, so this is disturbing. Everyone little. said he was he's he's being so nice. Which I like. <laughs> Maybe we should feed him this mixture of tropical rum, sh whatever Ooh. the fuck he got more often. So get a wine normally skin and loaded up. Yep. <laughs> hey, can I get advantage because Calandra <laughs> thinks he's being weird too? Sure. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Just a little weirdness right. factor. Hey, good oh, thing yeah. I did advantage. Uh -uh. Oh. He's got a brain. He's got a brain slug on his head. She just noticed. <laughs> Con. What caused you to make an inside check? You think is valid. Mm. But you also, now that you're thinking about it, you're doing the mental math about it. Eldred hasn't left your sight all day. He's been with you the entire day. And he's been very much Eldred up until you got to this square. And even once you got to the square, he was very much Eldred. It wasn't until he saw the guy making snow cones that all of a sudden he started bouncing up and down and getting really happy. Gotcha. And like now that he's had the snow cone and everything, it's kind of... It's not as bouncy and perky and everything as it was when he was waiting for it and when he was eating, getting it and then eating it. It's beginning to calm down a little bit, but it's still a little bit there. But you're noticing kind of the you've, you've peaked and now it's like back down towards normal again is the feeling you're getting. I will lean back into Calandra. I definitely think it is snow cone related. We might have to... Uh... Keep him on a steady diet of them. Well, not too steady because so, it's weird. The <laughs> same. Maybe we get a a wine skin and just uh fill it up with to go. Duh. I believe Gaius yeah. bought like a giant it's... jug of all the syrup. He <laughs> did. Yeah. Cut back to him, just like and cork. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. And just like he's, uh, this is. Kind of awkward, actually, how much I have here. Um, mm. <laughs> Would you like to share the load, Gaius? Maybe give Eldred some? Of course. But she then about. leans in and says, give Eldred some. I think he really likes it. Yeah, oh, you mean you want to keep him... Da. Oh, okay, I don't know if you know this, but if you give people too much... It gets worse. Do they explode? Oh. What? <laughs> yes, in fact, yes, they do in a way. Gaius, everything do you remember... inside their stomach comes out. Do you remember the room that Trumpet and I shared that one time after she they exploded? Oh, yes, <laughs> when I got to break out my uh, spell of create water. 
Yes. Da. So yes, I am familiar with this effect. <laughs> oh, that's right. No one's sharing a room with Eldred. Sure, why not? Hey, Eldred! <laughs> he gets all over the place. It just kind of like shakes the ch jugs worth of like liquid. It's like, oh my god! Eldred, Eldred, like his ears perk up, and he's like, "What's that?" Oh my god! Have you heard of? <laughs> oh, it's a secret mix that the slushy man gave me. Do you have ice I'm in there? And I'm like, mm -hmm. There was ice put in here, yes. <laughs> there was ice near it. Uh, but do you have like a, a bowl of ice to go with it? Oh, not at the moment, but you could. we could probably get you some. Okay. Do you want to just drink it straight from the bottle? Oh, that's weird. <laughs> What? Drinking straight from a wine skin is weird? <laughs> when it's syrup, yeah. That's the wine. I don't get it. Guys, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, uh, have you ever made wine snow cones out of your wine skin? Actually, yes. It snowed regularly up on the mountains where I was trained, and I would add the wine and make wine cones. That's awesome. Mm. I'm really glad that I have that little nugget of information and insight into what your life was like. <laughs> Thank um, you. Now, where yeah. were we? <laughs> Getting Eldred wasted on snow cones? <laughs> Trying. Yeah, Trying. Not succeeding and, yet. Uh, would you promise? We're getting there. <laughs> Getting drunk and finding a bar. Uh, he, we, might, uh, he might have to, like, he might have to do magic. Maybe this isn't such a good idea. We stick him at I the mean, front. Could... He's always in our line of sight. I could make ice, I guess. <laughs> could you? I know yeah, you if you create water, water can you create ice? Do you There's have the more... dealings to shave it, then? I, I, we kind of, because it's a more violent way to make ice, I know. Can you make snow? Let's put it that way. How committed are we to getting him to make this? <laughs> no, we're not. Can, I was like, can, can, I could just go ask for like a cup of ice? We've gone too far already. We've gone too far. Oh, we're already walking. We're We've been walking. Right, At this point, going. Reed becomes the sensible one. Wait, are we trying to find Calandra's brother? <laughs> nah, we are still oh, yeah, walking no. through the witch's promise. I mean, okay. if you want, I could make a knife of ice. I guess Ooh. instead of like using it to do magical damage, I could just put it in a glass. We crush it up. <laughs> or stab someone really tastily, says Eldred. Oh, well, no. If I stab someone with it, it then explodes. And so makes the ice. That, <laughs> yes. It's good work. We can, mm. once we finally make it... <laughs> Gaius make it creates a going. form of snow cones. It's just a real tedious and dangerous method in which to do. It's very violent. <laughs> which only means we should wait for until we're win in the Eastern District. Yes. <laughs> they all, all have this aftertaste of iron for some reason. So we'll say that just about the time passes and you find yourself standing outside of the Witch's Promise. Perfect. All right. Uh, what does it look like? It's uh, I hope. basically the front of the building is kind of narrow. It's painted black on the outside. It's got kind of those western doors on the front that are okay. also painted black. Kind of window, a window on either side that are shuttered at the moment. It's got a second floor with a lot of wrought iron work as the railing and everything and the, and the pillars and the pillars come down on either side and those are wrought iron as well and there's a lot of scrolling and such a uh, little wooden porch out front to step up onto to go inside i will head towards the the wooden doors do they go squeak <laughs> exactly like that <laughs> Excellent. I will And like in. that too, butt trumpet. <laughs> mm. 
Exactly. Perfect. Uh, how how the dark hanger. is the inside? <laughs> it's pretty dark inside. There's a couple <laughs> candles here and there. Um, there's a lantern. It it's uh, it's longer than it is wide. There are scattered tables here and there, mm -hmm. but obviously the focus is the bar that goes the length of the left hand side, and the wall of spirits behind it. Uh, there's some lanterns on the wall by the shelving, kind of lighting up the spirits. There's the only person in there is there's a guy behind the bar smoking a pipe just sitting there reading a book i loudly exclaim he doesn't look like a witch <laughs> looks up takes out the pipe kind of sets it down on the side takes a piece of paper sticks it in the book shuts it puts it down brushes himself off stands out and says ah welcome my friends what can i get you uh spasiba uh, we have heard of your establishment from a friend of ours. Are you Barry or Martin? Uh, Martin's the name. Bartending's Martin. my game. Excellent. I have one strange request and one stranger request. Uh, stranger Wouldn't be a bartender for... if I wasn't used to it. Go ahead. Strange request first. Could we get a bowl of ice for the tall gentleman in the robes? Not that strange, but okay. I have also, never asked for it before, so. <laughs> also, a round of a round of. Uh, well, what do you have on tap? I mean, well, we have, we have a uh, an ale that's made for us that we call Witch's Brew. That's probably yeah, the most go. okay. That sounds fun. No, yeah, remember, that sounds good. Yeah. So we seven remember, of them. We can't have too much because of why we're here. Got to yes. focus. Yep. But I'm also okay. <laughs> just giving this man some money. And then uh, as she's now clambering up onto one of the bar stools and, you know, all he sees are the, the wings above the bar or something. And then, <clears throat> and then, okay, trying. And then uh, we would like to take a look at your stoves. Ah, so you're the inspectors. Okay. We are. We are. Well, when you finish your drinks here, or a matter of fact, you can take them with you if you want. Uh, just what return the bowl and the and the mugs when you come back out. Uh, six, seven. Oh. Give give me uh, give me a gold for everything, knowing that you'll bring the mugs back and the uh, and the bowl, and I'll give you a few silver back once you bring them back okay what yeah, you're going to do good. is you're going to go down the hall and at the end of the bar you see there's a hall go to the very last set of doors they're going to be swinging doors like the front doors it's on the left hand side go through those walk through the kitchen go out the other side and you're going to see a door across the hall from the door you just exited go in there You'll find right. the stoves you're looking for there, he says very oddly. And then proceeds to start pour, pumping your ales. And he puts a bowl of, of uh, a, like blo a block of ice, a small block of ice that was kind of broken into like five pieces on on the bar for you. Yeah, ah, guys, so there's about. just some, some syrup in there for... Yeah. Here you go, Eldred. Num num. He he looks at the ice block, kind of broken. And a few he goes, not to be uh, ungrateful, guys, but it's really not the same. But okay. I'll swing the war hammer and crush it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just no. Destroy the ball. No. No. <laughs> I'm gonna say no on that. Calandro will I step very far. Back. Throw this I've stopped the war hammer back up. What's what's wrong, Gaius? Uh, a, you're gonna just wreck the bowl uh, for oh. one. Uh, and you hear the bartender go, and my bar, and my bowl, and, and my yeah, and all of that. Um, 
We may not be real busy, but um, we're I'm I'm not above throwing people out for that sort of shit. No, I I apologize. Uh, I didn't think that far ahead. You, you could uh, have stopped it. I didn't think it's good. He says. <laughs> Nikita, Nikita, do you have like a mini warhammer? <laughs> I actually carry Nia, mine. Nia kind of like me. just snaps his finger <laughs> and a small ball of flame fills his hand and he just kind of like holds it over the, the ice a little bit. I'm like, I'll just melt it into more snow cony consistency yeah. as he's okay. sitting there just Is sipping the ale. El Eldred pulls the bowl away and goes, it's okay, guys. I got a, takes out his dagger, turns it upside down with the kind of Takes the his cloak around him and with the dagger turned upside down starts kind of my ice breaking the ice apart. He goes, well, "You don't want flame. All I right. don't want water." <laughs> if only, if only Eldred had a Eggers spell that could Jesus. just like break ice up a little bit. <laughs> this is interesting. This has been an interesting day. Eldred goes, "You know that'd be a good idea. I'm gonna have to work on that." Yeah, I thought Gaius was going to cast his special spiritual weapon and just make it a tiny little ice hammer. Yeah, I'm not wasting a spell on that. Okay. I was going to pour yeah, myself a drink it. from the bowl Yeah, and uh, start drinking the witch's brew. Yep. I just kind of expectantly brew. waiting for everybody else to go down the hall. <laughs> with, with, a yeah. shot, with a shot of graveyard syrup? Yeah, uh, yes. Okay, yes. Eldred says on the top to give it a punch. <laughs> okay. So you have your drinks and uh Eldred now has his somewhat slushy, his lumpy slushy. You head back? Sounds good. Yes. yes. Okay. You head back to the last door, you go through and you find yourself in the kitchen. There's an old woman who you startle as you come in, and she looks at you and goes, oh, got it, and goes back to doing what she's doing. You, you go. We, we apologize. We'll just be going. Yeah, no problem. You go through, you go out the door, and there is, uh, you can turn left, go down a hallway, you can turn right go down towards what looks like a door that leads outside, or you can go across the hall. There's a door there that looks to be cracked open. I completely forgot the directions already, you guys. <laughs> I oh, damn it. I thought you hall. somebody else was paying. I believe it was I across, across the hall, I think it's still across the hall. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I pushed that one open slowly. Okay. Da. Da. Door opposite of the door from the from the kitchen. It, are they swingy doors opposite us? No. It's Fuck, a big thick doors? door. You went through the swingy, the swingy yeah, doors. The swingy doors are the ones that you go through to get out into the hallway from the kitchen. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. I still think it's I the one straight to... ahead, though. Yeah. <laughs> I push that one open a little bit. Okay. And you go it. in. You, you open the door and you get hit with a little bit of cool air. And inside you see a bunch of sacks, a bunch of crates and boxes. Up near the top you see a bunch of uh, big blocks of ice that just, you know, you can see this, the, the cold steam coming off of them. I don't know what you call that. It's like when you see your breath. Sublimation. Sure. Sure. Um, <laughs> and across in the corner, you see wrapped in a blanket, you see, uh, the Aqualung going, don't let the cold out, shut the door behind you. Everyone, this is Aqualung. Aqualung, this is the 4A group. <laughs> hey, 4A. <laughs> Come in, make yourself at home. Hey! Something tells me he's I been well acquainted with at least half of the 4A group. I cover my beer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. And he sits back and just kind of 
Lifts up a mug and takes a sip, puts it down. We all in? So Nikita, Nikita, what do we do yeah. now? <laughs> uh, we were told this is where the stoves are. We need to inspect. Uh, I'm guessing Aqualung will be our guide from here, quite possibly. Oh, yeah. Excellent. Okay. Well, I'll be uh, your guest at the moment. I am not following you. Not at the moment. We're just sitting here. Oh, for fuck's sake. Do you want us to finish our <laughs> drinks? Or do you want to finish yeah. your drink? Or... Yeah, okay. finish your drink. Okay. Nikita chugs her beer. <laughs> okay. I take out I one of the spiders. I <laughs> do nice. Vivaldo takes out a, snake I, a spider bite. One of the spider bites and just like while staring at him, pop it in my mouth and take a sip after it. <laughs> he kind of looks for her goes Badass. got any more of that I do and I hand him one <sighs> ah tastes like seafood good <laughs> and as you look at this old man you notice like there's some like below his mouth the beard is kind of filled with some nastiness and stuff like that Mm -hmm. Um, he just seems sitting there like he doesn't have a care in the world. He doesn't. Because <laughs> so... we're waiting on her. <laughs> so are you so going to get Akulana. us to the Eastern Districts? Yes. We'll find out. Just a little bit more. Hmm. Doesn't seem like we're accomplishing oh. anything here. Hmm. Not yet. <laughs> Are we waiting on somebody? That's a yes. That is a yes. Come in. The door opens up, and Nikita, you notice two young females walk in that are very familiar to you. Oh, mother fuck. I should have, yeah. They, gotcha. they hand the Aqualung uh, a piece of parchment. He hands them a small sack that jingles as they catch it. And the one girl goes, pleasure. And the other one said, yeah, what she said. And they, they kind of start to walk out. And then they look around and go, oh, sorry. And then skip all the way out, pulling the door behind them. All good. Thank you. Okay. Just a moment. He undoes the parchment and looks at it. Okay. So, you wanted to know about getting into the Eastern Districts, right? This is correct. At the moment, two ways are open. One way... I can help you with. It'll cost you, though. The other way, I can tell you, but I ain't going with you. Mm. All right. Would you be able to give us a hint so we can choose one way or the other? Oh, I'm about to. I'm about to. Okay, good. <laughs> Excellent. Pausing for dramatic effect. Yeah, I am not used to that. I apologize. I'm sorry I'm old. I, you know, things take time. All good. Unless it's sleeping, then I'm up every couple hours. It really <laughs> sucks. Anyway. I have heard this. Yeah. So, the costly way is I'll guide you through some tunnels and some nasty underground places that'll take us way beneath the overlook and over into... Uh, into the eastern districts and we may have to we might run across some ugliness things like that uh <laughs> might possibly we have to pay a toll or two depending who's around duh we have spent some time in the sewer we are familiar with some of its denizens oh then you this will be old hat for you just uh Aqualung doesn't fight. Aqualung doesn't pay tolls. 
As long as we're agreed with that, then we can, can talk more. That's the one going. way. That's, That's the, the one way. way. Yeah. The other way, I'm just going to tell you. Yeah. Doesn't cost you a penny. Okay. There is a way through the necropolis. Well, through the old necropolis. That supposedly will connect the two sections of town. Yeah. But the problem is you have to go through the iron wall. Now well, I know a way to get there. Right? But uh no one I, I don't know anyone who's willing to go through the iron wall. It's some pretty fucked up shit and scary ass stuff back there from what I hear. <laughs> Would you tell us what you've heard of this iron wall? Uh, oh, it's at the back of the necropolis where the Black Friars are in charge of. They're scary enough, if you ask me. <sighs> but if you get in there, which shouldn't be a problem, go all the way to the back as far as you can go. <sighs> The necropolis used to go for a lot further back there. But that's old, old, old stuff. And some nasty, uh, well, some really nasty stuff started kind of standing up again. <sighs> once the witch wars happened. Oh, and even see. after the witch wars, it was a problem, so... The city had to block off that section of the necropolis. <sighs> so they built the iron wall. Okay, iron <sighs> wall keeps the walking dead out. Bingo. <sighs> and we, and does anyone... if we went that way, we'd have to go through the iron wall? There's a there is a door or two that go through the iron wall. They're just I don't know the last time they've been opened to be honest. And anyone who would, would we... go through them that's on you. <sighs> Any other Roughly questions? How long would, we... would it take for you to guide us through the sewers? <clears throat> Depends on the obstacles and any tolls we might have to pay. Sometimes tolls come with discussions. Out of, out of the range, what was your shortest time doing this journey? What was the longest time you took doing this journey? <sighs> shortest time in afternoon. Longest time in a week. But that was a really bad situation. Not everyone oh, made it, that one. But that was also when things weren't so messed up here in the city. That was when, you know, the different guilds were fighting over rights to the underground. Ooh. Now there's only a few guilds that hold, uh, kind of hold the underground as theirs. Uh, would the crap, what was the, got? was it Goblin Town Guild? Did he have a name? Did anyone remember? That was a gang. I don't, no think, guild. I don't think they did. Okay. Does one of them happen to be goblin based? Do you know? <laughs> no. Some, uh, haven't seen them for quite some time, at least a couple months. There were some big, ugly rat fuckers, though, for a while that were really nasty. The Cavanish? Mm -hmm. I think that's Kavanish. I think that's what they called themselves, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm. They they were probably more difficult than most of the guilds, quite frankly. Mm -hmm. Oh well that's good, because as far as we know, we got them the fuck out of the city. <laughs> really? Yep. Oh, that's interesting. Yep. Mm. How much more expensive is your guiding tour? I'm a fair guy. I'm a, I'm a sweetheart. Just ask anybody. I'd say twenty-five 
25 gold for me and take care of uh, Tip and Martin, five gold on the way out and for the room here, and we'll be good. Hmm. All right. Uh, shall we? I guess we're stuck in the room. He's is he? Is there a way we can like go and talk somewhere in the room, or should we just back out of the room to talk? He goes. I can leave. It's okay. And you Appreciate can uh, talk about any other knowledge or services you might be interested in. Why I'm gone. Fair. And he gets up, grabs his mug, goes out, and shuts the door behind. And kind of shuffles out. As you can see. As, as he's going through the door, he goes, a little too fucking cold for me anyway. And shuts the door behind him. Yeah, as you can see, great person. Uh, what do we think? Uh -huh. <laughs> well, here's the thing. <clears throat> While his guided way is a way we're more familiar with, one, that's a lot of money. Two, we'd be stuck with him the whole time. And he doesn't fight. Yeah. Eldred goes, the plus side is now if we go the other way, we have two clerics. That's true. To deal with the uh, walking skellies. Mm. Spooky, I mean, scary skeletons, if you will. <laughs> uh, thoughts, Depends questions? Depends on if they're undead. I mean, I guess it's up to the group. Do we want to spend the cash, or do we want to potentially just uh, brawl our way through to the Eastern District? Um, what was that other thing you mentioned earlier, Nikita, about, uh, you said it was Aqualung who knew something about artifacts, right? Yeah, so if we wanted to ask him about the artifact, this would be a good time, especially if he doesn't guide us, or if he's guiding us, we can then ask him about it, but it's also more money. Right. And he said it was very expensive, so... And if him being a sweetheart is 25 gold, plus everything da. else? Da. I'm also, uh, we don't know if he has it. He might be like, I'll tell you where it is. It's most likely that. You get that feeling too, da? Yes. Yeah. It's, yeah. So it's in this fancy I... house with 8,000 guards. The Baron owns it. Yes. I right. may be able to get more coin before. I just don't know if we'd have this opportunity sooner. Right. Coin isn't necessarily the issue. We have. It. It's more of are we will do we want to spend? It? <laughs> Reed, Reed just looks at Viv and is like, "We have that. Yeah, I, I know you don't have that much, but yeah, we got that." Jeez. Um, <laughs> I that think mean? he's trying to be reassuring. Reed, not helping. It's not working. Uh, oh, I just, I just <laughs> noticed. I do have coin. I noticed. I do. I just noticed what you had earlier. No, never, never mind. <laughs> I'm like slowly reaching a hand up to Reed's mouth. Step, step. <laughs> I Viv kind of I touches just her coin purse to remember how much she had in it. So oh, I just no. kind of be like, does it feel more empty? <laughs> does it, Paul? <laughs> as far as I know, no. Okay. Yeah, okay. Um, Unless I was sleep stealing, it shouldn't. But <laughs> And you also slept yeah. in the middle so, of the So there you go, Vivalda. Think about how many no naps Reed has taken since the snow I cones. I think I'm good. All right. <laughs> uh, Eld Eldred says, maybe, maybe I'm getting slow or something, but it just hit me. Nikita, you used the word fucking artifact, right? Yes. Well, but fuck the fucking me part sideways. I say a lot. Huh. <laughs> what what is the significance of that, Eldred? She said artifact. Not da. not magic. Not da. you know 
uh, potion, not scroll. She said fucking artifact. Right. That's yeah. like. Uh, how many potions have we run across? How many pieces of magic have we run across? I got like a couple banging around in my pocket, I think. Okay, all that aside, magic used to be everywhere in this land, from what I've heard, before the obliteration and everything, and a fair amount of it even before the Witch Wars. Artifacts? Probably about as... Let me put it to you this way. If magic were the population of the Aria, he says. Artifacts would be the reigning nobility over the years. Mm. Wow. With probably an equal, equal amount of power of some form. So, yeah. Fucking artifact. So, uh, thinking out loud, Eldred... We could, unless someone does not want to, we could save money on the guidance of Senor Aqualung, but then spend money on the information of the artifact. Yeah, I mean, he he's talking about an artifact, so he could be totally pulling it out of his ass and making this shit up. Do, I mean, do we have any proof about any known artifacts? I, I haven't heard anything. I don't think any of us have heard anything. I'm not even sure what he's referencing. Like, artifact, is that the same as it, statue? Fucking I just statue. find it weird. You don't throw that word around. You know what I mean? Right. People, I've heard yeah. people talk about magic, potions, scrolls, magic items, things like that. Artifact, that's a whole, whole nother level. Interesting. When I was doing... When I was doing some hunting for the church... Or magical items. And Elger, correct oh, yeah, me yeah. if I'm wrong if I may speak out of turn here. It's artifacts are the top tier magic <laughs> item. Uh, uh, yeah. Like by leaps and bounds and, and way even more than that. Most magic items do like one thing. Few do a few more than that. Sometimes artifacts do a magnitude of stuff or a magnitude of one particular a couple different things um like if you're rating the amount of magic by the the emit amount of heat mm. a magic item would glow like the coals of a fire where the flames have just kind of died a little bit. An artifact? Well, let's just say, you know the black smoke coming from the eastern districts? Pittance compared to the fire, the flame, and heat from an artifact. Sounds like something that might be worth listening to him speak about. Yes. I'm only Agreed. hesitant Although because... Where the information's coming from seems... Distrustful. Yes. We can see what information he's got. Um, I am honestly... Any connections, we can always fact check. Da. I am honestly concerned about any of us getting our hands on something that powerful. <laughs> Elder goes, there is that. Yeah. But still. Maybe we'll have wised up by then. I mean, how often do you get... I mean, how often do you no. even hear the word, you know? Yeah. No, I, I I, concur and agree. So I put forth the idea. We don't take his tour, but we do pay for the information on the artifact. Do I have a second? I will. I will second that with a slight addendum. All right. What you got, Eldred? I suggest you try to get the artifact information first. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. Before letting him know that you're not going to ask him to be our tour guide. Right. Yeah. See? Play at, this play is the elder that we know. So instead, we're going to be doing the Iron Wall. Mm. Da, are you okay with th that? I'm just this unfamiliar is my with what it's going to be. I mean, I know that your group is quite ready to just jump into something, so that there is that. So I'm, I'm just wondering what the strategy is there. Basically, um, my understanding is we'd be walking into like the Eastern District, but instead of lumpy lumpsters, it would be ass loads of skeletons but with two clerics who can beat the shit out of them. All right. So instead of um, lump, lumpsters, it's asters. Skeletons. Now you lost me, Eldred. Close, so close. <laughs> Maybe I'm lost, huh? <laughs> I'm just trying to follow. Like bonesters? Bonesters. Skellysters? Bonesters. Bonesters and asters. <laughs> Got it. I'm so, this. Wow. <laughs> How you doing, Calandra? What do you think? You're lob you're lobbing them right at me. Um <laughs> I I hate acronyms, so I also hate this. Whatever this is. <laughs> Whatever this has become. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. So you want to shorter it to B and A? That's an ac I literally just said I hate acronyms. <laughs> That's fine. Nice. For whatever this was. Gotcha. So in fact, worse. I'm sorry, I forgot. I'll I'll leave it to all of you, 4A. You are part of 4A. <laughs> I'll leave it to us, 4A. Thank you. I'm just there gonna go. I'm just gonna call our group name Ah. Thank you. Ah. Thank you. It's catching on. Mm -hmm. Yes, I like that. 4A. That's the new name that you guys decided on? Mm. Yep. Nah. Says I'll just more of it's more of like when you settle, because Life's too short. You you've settled. just given up. Could, could be the anyway, I'm story. Team Iron Wall. I am Team Iron Wall. I guess I'm Iron I'll Wall too. I'll go for it if everybody else is. Sure. Never sure. I'll Eldred go along seen. with the... <laughs> Yeah, right? I mean, just I'll let's not write off using him as a um, a source lead. Say we'll consider his offer for guiding. On the off chance that the iron wall thing doesn't work out. This is true. And we come back with our this tails between our legs. Yes, Jeez. exactly. But or somebody can. Yeah. Because then I'm sure Hopefully he'll not. upturn. Oh, that chump had just said that. Or someone dead. And I was like, hopefully not. Oh, no, that'll be fine. I can fix that. <laughs> Good. Got a spell There's an app for that. There's a spell. <laughs> I have a spell. <laughs> I have spells. There's a guy for, for that. <laughs> and okay. if, and e even if their spirit leaves us, their body will fight. Which like is the worst puppet. part? <sighs> well, that's, yeah, that's, that's reassuring. <laughs> yeah. It is right. I don't understand mm. magic. No it's one really... goes to waste. You don't want to. Okay. No. All right, I yeah, will call right. Charmer back in. Okay. Uh, Nikita. Weezy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you open the door, you open see him kind of looking over the old woman's shoulder in the thing, and she goes, oh, for Christ's sake, and just hands him a bowl and gives him a ladle. So he goes, thank you kindly. <laughs> Starts. Ah. Uh, Aqualung, I, I, we have uh, come to a decision if you could join ah, us again. Ah, yes. He turns to the old woman and says, While it's been a romantic pleasure, my lady, unfortunately, business calls. She looks at him and goes, Get the fuck out of my kitchen. Oh, yeah. You're such a charmer. He comes back in. Nikita, under her breath, I did only tell him to stay away from young women. You did. I did. <laughs> Too specific. <laughs> yeah. 
let him back in. <laughs> okay. He comes back in, sits down on the the crate that you see has been had a number of sacks put behind it and under it and on the bombs. So he sits back down, puts his feet up that seem to be wrapped in rags and such, and starts eating as part of his dripping down his beard and everything. So what have we decided? Uh, I have mentioned to the group about your mentioning of an artifact. That was the word you used, duh? Oh, I thought you'd be interested in that. <laughs> duh. Um, For a minute, I thought then that's why Mary had sent you. Nope. Okay. But we are a multi-pronged group, so we are curious. Uh, mm, what can curious you tell us about? Curious choice of words, my lady. But yes, I know. <laughs> <sighs> well, I have limited information, so give me another five gold. We'll say. I kind of I'll side eye Eldred or, and Gaius. And if they look like they're like, yeah, that's pretty good, then I'll I'll pay him the five gold. Eldred's like pretty good. Yeah, that's what I figured. All right, I will pay him. Here is another five gold. Okay. What have, what information do you have? Here's a puts it in a pocket and says, "Here's what I have." Word on the street is that there is an artifact. And I don't use the term loosely because I, from what I understand, even the world, the word is imbued with power. Out in the wind in the east, in the western districts, in the wild, as it were, <sighs> something that has been under lock and key for many, many years. <sighs> And now somehow is out in the wild. It is called from what I'm told, the Files of Glen Galanor. Files of Glen Galanor. Have I got that? Yes, you do, my One. little lady. Galanor. Files being physical files or like paper files or no idea. I just knew the name. Oh, all right, all right. Just checking. And somehow word has leaked out, and there are lots of people with lots of money and lots of power who want to increase their power, who are willing to pay top gold for this piece. So the person who finds it or takes it from the person in possession of it, who liberated it from its original home, is set to be very wealthy indeed. Uh, Eldred, are you familiar with a Glen Gallinor? Does that ring any bells? Or butt trumpet, Gaius, anyone? That's a good point. I could make a, I can make a check if uh, yes. Eldred doesn't know. Eldred says, I've never heard of that. Okay. Mm. But Trumpy, you can roll an Arcana er, Arcana check. Arcana check, you say. Hmm. Oh. Uh But Trumpy, you've heard the name. You don't remember anything else, but you do reckon you do recognize that it was something Seven Rivers seems to go with like the name and Seven Rivers were spoken about in the same conversation. Hmm. So you don't know the connection. You don't know why they were spoken about. But you do know that somehow the two somehow have a connection. Even if it's 
just something to do with someone in Seven Rivers at one time. Well, this information seems to check out. Um... Guys? I was doing an Arcana check as well to see if I knew. Okay. Uh, 16. You have heard the name. It is, in fact, uh, an artifact of some power, as far as you know. The difference is that uh, butt trumpets getting their Im memory and information from someone with a lot more historical knowledge. Mm -hmm. And that's why they know it. You have only heard the name from when you were kind of in lo that line of business. Yeah, more of a uh, hearsay, a spoken word kind of right. thing. So the name is legit. Yes. This does ring a bell. I actually remember being asked to potentially be on the lookout for this. Uh, the name. Hmm. I definitely heard it mentioned before. Maybe if I give some, maybe if I have some time and if I try and think back, maybe I can remember if there was anything Alistair said. Yeah. The Aqualung says, Ah, oh, knowledgeable people. That's interesting. Very interesting. There is one more thing. Totally this not. could prove very important. While I don't know where the artifact is, word on the street, or under the street, as it were. Oh. Is that it's not going to be here for long. It only recently, in the past couple days, was freed or became freed and is out there in the wind of the Western Districts. But word on the street is that's probably not going to be for long, that it's only out in the wild for a short period. Something to keep Is it in going mind. Somewhere? It possibly might. I don't know the details. I just know that the clock is ticking. And oh. that is all the Aqualung knows. You don't have a contact name, maybe, of someone else we could go to? Hit up the Aqualung doesn't give out his contact. He could go for you if you wanted to ask further questions, though. From what I've heard, I think that's probably more than you're going to find with any of them. <sighs> Although I'm keeping my ears open every day. What do we think? Do you know of anybody who's going to be paying the gold? You mentioned hire people who wish to pay people to get this item for them. At this moment, I don't have any names, but with something like this, it would be all too easy to get them. I see. All right. Hmm. How? If you want to think about it, let you can let me know. You know where to find me most days. This yes, is we true. Do. This is true. Uh, I'm looking at Eldred. Does he have any questions, comments, concerns, thoughts? Eldred says, Mr. Um, Aqua Lung. Mr. Uh, Lung. Mr. Lung, if I can be so bold. Aqua, if, if you don't mind. The Aqualung just kind of looks at him and says, Funny. 
Yeah, I never heard that before. Eldred says, thank you, I try. Uh, would it be okay if we thought about it and got back to you in the next day or two? The whole, the whole thing. All, all of your offers and everything. The Aqualung kind of sits back, goes, You know where to find me, but like I said, just remember. Tick, 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 tick. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. 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 Alrighty. <laughs> it sounds good. We appreciate your help. Spasiba. Oh. Thank you. He jingles the coins in one of his pockets and says, The pleasure was all mine. <sighs> now, if you'll yes, excuse me, I have to go and do things. Gets up and mm. kind of shuffles out. I quickly, quietly, I, I really quickly ask the key to, should I get our gold back? No. Uh, sorry, I wasn't hearing that. <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling he's uh, playing at the, being a little lame. Let's, um, not yet. Got so it. far, the information has been good. Got the it. minute off the lungs out of your... Yeah. The minute he's out of earshot, <laughs> I uh, mimic his voice. Excuse me, I have to go piss in the street. <laughs> <laughs> Nikita is glad I finished my drink because I would have spat it out at that point. That was a good that one. Was good. <laughs> but yes, Reed, let's. Uh, if he screws us at some point. We'll get the money back. <laughs> okay. One way or another, Nikita tries. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> huh? huh? now I know. Eldred says, <laughs> "Not bad, not bad." We should work on it, Dino. Okay. <laughs> okay, so. Do we want to head back to uh, the Stone's Throw and like head out to oh boy. Necropolis parts one and two tomorrow? So my I thinking think we is, a full rich day. yeah, yes, I can try going up to the Overlook and um, collecting uh, some more coin from uh, the person I was with. He owes me some. Well so I can talk to him and see if he can give it to me early. That way we have more coin if we need it and see what I can do with that. Another thing we might want to consider is um, as a time schedule thing, mm. this artifact business, if we want to potentially exploit that, we might have to focus on that because potentially if we were to get our hands on that, it could make a things easier, or even if it's just from like a monetary standpoint. Um, I think we need to ask around about that and the disappearances yeah. here in the Western District. Yeah. As well, um, and then we need to decide on whether we we should probably investigate the Iron Wall. To yeah. see if that is actually feasible for us to potentially um, use as an entrance point to the Eastern District. If not, then um, using the cash to buy our way in to help with. Would you like me to while I? Uh, would you like me to while I'm up in the Overlook, I can uh, speak to my noble friend that I made and see if he knows anything about the artifacts of Glen Gelinor. And uh, do that, and maybe ask about the iron wall as well. The iron See if they wall, have yes, any. I will. I mean, we can ask around here as well. Um, I, th I think before we go herring off in this, any specific direction, it's probably best. So talk to people we know, see what they know. See what we can find about the artifact, 
the missing people, which um, Kalindra and I pretty much think we know is the people in the yellow carts, just abducting people. If so, figure out where they're going. Now, granted, if they're getting kidnapped and taken over into the Eastern District, that would make things a lot easier. <laughs> so then we could just... Hitch a ride I on a yellow wagon? Hitch a ride. Yeah. yeah. That's an option. Were they, um, were they wearing uniforms? Could we like? Oh, of course, them? yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. They got the whole beaks and everything. Yeah, it's total. Yeah, they were bird people. I can't be a bird people. They're not actual bird people. I don't even we know if that's a thing back. here. It's a bird mask. Ah. Okay. Eldred says they're really turtles because you know, the mask fits over their beak. That's Turtle people? I want yeah, to see one don't. No. Yeah. They work for a shell corporation, he says. <sighs> hey, Albert, don't you have some ice to chip off or something? I push them into a I'm going to chip of off the old ice, that's right. I'm sorry. That's These right. things are slow to come, but they come. <laughs> Such an ice hole. That, that actually was, oh, that was no. pretty good. <laughs> anyway, so yeah. And if you oh, think about have... it, then maybe not. No. Okay. Not going to. No. All right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So no. No on that. Whatever the hell that one part was. Are you uh, okay, Calandra, mm. if we wait another day? I thank you for asking. But I I do I'm certain Grimoire is such a strong man. I know he's alive and I know that for your group, this is such a rare opportunity. Artifact. <laughs> Artifact. And it, it would be wise to do our due diligence as far as ensuring. I, I don't want anyone to come to harm on my behalf while we're trying to find him. So it would be worthwhile to do our due diligence, as was suggested, to investigate before rushing in to ensure our safety. Yes. Uh, so I, mean, I think that holding back just a bit before rushing in might be the best course of action. Correct. Because if we research those potential, like if we know where those yellow carts, if they're going back into the Eastern District or not, yes. that may be an avenue we can use instead of A, fighting our way through the Iron Wall. Also, it'll help us determine, and who the hell knows, Grimoire might be uh, abducted by those people for all that we know. Just because you heard of him last over there doesn't mean that's where he was. So, right. We and should with also all of the do disappearances. our disappearances. Yes. So we need to talk to the folks we know. Viv yeah. has contacts up in cloud, in the noble Overlook. area, which is good. Over to look. Eldred, you got some magic friends now, right? Well, I have to go in there. And I wanted to talk to you all about that as well. Okay. Go in uh, where? The university. Oh, right, right. Yes. Done. Um, seeing the connections that we've made or that for some reason have taken an interest in me for some reason, which still kind of weirds me out. Me too. I... <laughs> Keep going, <laughs> Keep going. Keep <laughs> going. Being that we have yet to split up the items because I haven't identified I all of them yet. Duh. It did kind of cross my mind that if I were to use my choice or one of my choices, depending on how we determined to break them up, to take the baby arm because I don't know all it does, but it comes off as kind of dark. Yeah. If if the way it looks didn't say that enough. Yeah. Researching it, not read, really, but identifying it is basically confirmed that um, this is some weird ass dark shit. Nah. And I was thinking that it might be a good bargaining tool to get me into the right 
maybe into the school itself. Or, you know, to a to become a student of the right person. No. <laughs> I love the flat. I, <laughs> Duh. I just want to know if it's I'm sorry, but you have a baby arm? That's, I. No. <laughs> right, that's. You know, Eldred, 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 Eldred turns down. around, casts a spell, Some turns question. around, and you see these this little hand coming out of his robes. Yeah. No. Not that. Let's let's the just arm grows oh, up. Stone normal throw. Says, stone throw. will We're stone making our off. way back there. We're okay. making our way back. Okay. There. Can you step you step out of uh the witch's promise and it's I getting dark. The silver. Did we the silver Give everyone their mugs. Yeah. Them okay, you, mugs and the bowl. Okay. Bowl back. Okay. Um he gives you two silver back. You walk out into the night, and it's getting dark. It, it you've like, Butt Trumpet said you've had a full rich day. Um, <laughs> someone roll me a twenty cider, please. Anyone? Maybe we'll maybe we'll uh, run oh. into one of those spooky things that Nikita saw. Calandra, Viv, uh, just put your minds at ease. Just to let you know we did defeat a evil magic user, and did steal a bunch of their crap. Well, it's not stealing when they're dead. <laughs> looting, whatever. Uh, okay. Sorry, my verbiage was wrong. We liberated some liberated. stuff. Liberated. I rolled an 11. Homicide. You make it back to the stone's throw. Um, you walk in the door, and you see uh, Butterbeer and Murph sitting there talking mm -hmm. over a drink and some cigars. And that's where we're going to end it for this evening. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Really appreciate you coming along. Hope all of you have a wonderful day. We love that you joined us. Tune in next week. Same Grognard time. Same Grognard channel. Until then, wherever you go, whoever you're with, just please be kind. Hey!